Uh, but yeah, it has been a while, Dre. How have you been? Oh, I did see your um, creation. Oh, I guess you're having a commissioned one of your characters. Um, I think I forgot to respond to it, but I did see it. Looks really cool. Uh, let me see. I believe we're playing darks. But we are in the last uh, palace of the game. Again, here with Sumiri. And we are, we have been revealed uh, about her true past and whatnot is very sad, for sure. Um, for those who didn't know, uh, Kasumi, who was the uh, hot redhead all game, um, ended up not quite being who she said she was. Uh, she's actually her twin sister, Sumire. And a terrible fate had uh, fallen Kasumi. Just sad, but... It's okay, she's still here. Um, but we're supposed to level her up by playing some darts. Welcome! What do you play? Uh, we're playing darts. What do you want to do? Uh, let's call Sumire up. Yeah, it sucks for Akechi, you have to, um... Play with him twice. Because apparently you can't do the quick, uh... Double rank. He makes us play 701 instead of, what, 301? 501? I think it's 501. Hey, hey! Thank you! I mean, I catch the, uh, you know, being the bitch that he is. <laughs> uh, of course we're gonna use our own dark set. Yes. Are you very tired before I end up falling asleep? How do you feel about Sumi and Maruki? Let me double check. I remember it looking really cool. Oh, you're talking about uh, in the game. <laughs> I thought you were talking about your... I'm looking at it now, your Juichu. That looks like a Pikachu fused with the Umbreon. I wonder if that's was that what you were going for. Uh, but yeah, Sumire and Maruki. I think Maruki is you know, trying to do the right thing, but at the same time it's still... Not everyone necessarily chose to have him bend reality like this, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to say though, because um, again, he actually counts with all these like people throughout his profession or career, so he kind of knows what people like want, but and just totally just deciding for them that you know altering reality is the way to go. I don't know. I don't think that's the right move. But he does, have, he does have good intentions, so again, that's what's different between his palace and everybody else's palace. Um, as for Sumire, yeah, it's just very sad to find out that uh, he was actually a twin who lost her sister. Only because she uh, doubted herself a lot. Hey. Let's begin our team game. Um. As for Sumire, no longer in her Kasumi look. Yeah, it's funny because Kasumi just... She just has a ponytail. <laughs> That's something that makes her look different. And the glasses, but... Um, yeah, she's good. good. Very good character. And that's why we're, we're, we are romancing her this playthrough. Waited all game to romance somebody. We have to reject every single other girl. Yeah, which is kind of painful to do, actually. Um, let's see. The catch is not with us, so we we'll probably have to play darts one last time if we want to max out the catchy's uh baton pass rank. Now it's going for a cute baby look, and on the end of it, yeah, it looks like a light bulb plus plug. Nice. Yeah, I can see that. It's a very cute design. Oh wait, is that supposed to be like the main character of the the game you were trying to write, or was it a separate character? I didn't really read the description. I was just looking at the picture. Uh, let's see, this young species of Pokemon <laughs> is uh, often surrounded by its parents and siblings, uh, growing up strong to be able to survive on their own. The electric shock is weak, but is strong enough to scare away predators. Nice description. Definitely one you would put in a Bokodex. <laughs> is that what you're gonna call it? Pokemon? And as for Maruki, I love this man, I would probably side with him. Mm -hmm. I guess one of those, like, maybe, well, I guess it's hard to kind of, like, just pull 
the world, I guess, if they want reality to be bended like this. Um, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Maybe it's because, like, most of us had things happen in our lives that we wished either wouldn't have happened or something or other. And so, it's one of those, like, would it be better for us to just get a shortcut to the, uh, the promised land, I guess you would call it? Or should we, you know, actually build it with our own determination and actions and stuff like that? Um, of course, some of the things that he did change, Maruki did change, like Makoto and Sai's father still being alive and uh, Haru's dad still alive, you know, just people's <laughs> parents still alive, I guess. I guess that's something that uh, he would have to change or whatever, because, you know, in reality, they're not with us. Uh, same with Futaba's mom. Um, he, like, brought them all back to life somehow. <laughs> but, yeah. Hi, so interesting to me as a therapist. I see where he's coming from, but it was the wrong way to do it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. How are you, man? This oh, yeah, <laughs> I forgot you put the Maruki look on the Pepe. Yeah, she has good intentions, just you can't just make decisions for people, right? <laughs> Even if they wanted to do the thing or have that thing. You got this. We got this. All right. Do I remember how to do this? Oh yeah, I got it. Still, I like barely got that. No, I kind of don't like that you have to flick to actually throw the dart. <laughs> to actually use the motion controls. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you give a broken man power. Yeah, but this is one of the few times it doesn't feel as wrong. So, yeah. It's funny because, you know, you get the choice to actually just accept that this is a new reality. And I did it for funsies because, you know, just want to see what happened. And... Hey, Rex! It's been a long time, sir. How have you been? Here, but looking in, vibe and modding for another streamer. Nice. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Well, I hope things are going well. I watched a couple of the recent volleyball vids. Heck yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get more into it. I did start a league, uh, I think it was last month. So we've been going. Uh, it's been uh, six weeks. We've done six weeks worth, and then we're taking these two weeks off for the holidays, and then our finals are actually supposed to be January 6th. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, I'm not quite 100% sure what's gonna happen, because in that league there are actually... So my team for men's is first place, but the other two teams, well there's three other teams, but two of the teams are tied for second. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work out for the like end of season tournament. They're just gonna have it so the first two teams just play in the championships because they didn't want to like I don't know do full like round robin with playoffs all that jazz. Um, and now we're in this little issue where we have uh, yeah two teams almost second place. I don't know if they're gonna make them play like a tiebreaker game, which they might. Which I don't know. <laughs> uh, I assume that would probably be the best thing to do, but I don't know if they're gonna do two, two out of three or just one more tiebreaker game. Which would kind of suck, because, you know, usually the first game is the warm-up game. Though I guess, if you're really serious, you want to, like, win that first game regardless. Um, but yeah, just the way the standings worked out, there's two second-place teams right now. Uh, I'm assuming they'll do a tiebreaker game. Uh, maybe it's 25 or maybe even 30, I don't know. And then whoever wins goes on to face us in a 3 out of 5 set, which would be interesting. Um, on that same day, we have to do all the co-ed, like, it's a single elimination rounds, um, so yeah, anything can happen. Um, my team and another team are actually tied for first in the co-ed division, and I think, uh, we have to play two games, and then, yeah, we'll see at the, or meet each other at the championships. I'm pretty sure the other team that's second place will also make it to finals. 
left, so we were just having a rematch. We actually played them last week and unfortunately lost. Lost by a couple points. Um, but yeah, I made some errors, but it is what it is. And see, I'm hanging in there, finished wrapping gifts and shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, but when I saw shit, I made up other words in my head. <laughs> Such that it read like shit on my face. <laughs> like, what? What's going on here? But, um, nice, you're done. Christmas wrapping. Now, so you have PTSD from this dark game. No, if you do 100%, you have to have certain characters on certain days, and I had to restart so many times to get the RNG right. And if you fail the darts, it's a slog. Yeah, so far this actual darts has been uh, pretty straightforward. I haven't actually, I guess, failed for better or worse. Um, I do hate that you have to like you aim. That's when the little cursor starts bouncing around in the little oval shape, and then you have to like flick. And it's probably because I'm playing on PS5. They use the motion controls for a reason. Like. <laughs> It'd be better if you just had me press a different button to actually throw the dart, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, Parkechi, you do have to play him twice regardless because he wants a challenge because he's your ultimate rival. Um, so it makes us play 701, which you can't um, kind of make it so that he's gonna win for us. Um, so let's see, let me just let it play out. So she's gonna do her round. And she can't actually, you know, score enough to beat it. So what I have to do is not actually score enough to finish the game. And then she has to do it, but she has to be the one that finishes the game. And then if she finishes it, because I had to pick the correct dialogue, which I can pull up. And then she will uh, gain two baton pass ranks, which is nice. Let's see. Let's some of that. Um, a bit of time by getting through it all. Wrecking my car, no! Yeah, unfortunately, my parents also has to deal with the wrecked car. It's sad because the, the car's not totally wrecked, it's just like an impact on the side. But messed up the suspension on the driver's side, and then like the door, like some damage on the door pinch or hinge, and the dealership said, or not the dealership, but the repair place said more than likely it'll be like a total loss just because like the way Volkswagens are made and also like I think the damage that's to the car like <laughs> more than likely it's gonna be total, but. <laughs> For some reason, and maybe it's my fault too for not actually following up uh, verbally by calling them, but um, they haven't set the est set the estimate to our insurance yet, so we've kind of just been like in silence. <laughs> I try to reach out, you know, via emails, but I guess no one checks the emails. You know, I think that everyone would rather do emails just because you don't want to be like talking on the phone and like going back and forth and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe it's the season, holiday season that's like backing it up, but I doubt it. Um, so yeah, probably after Christmas I will try to call them, see what's up. Um, yeah, someone hit me and it's been bonkers, no! I'm going for a new one after Christmas. But is your insurance going to be able to uh, help you out and all that? I'm pretty sure. But that's why we got it, right? <laughs> that's why we buy insurance. Um, but as well, you're uh, looking good with what I've seen. Hope you all went well. Got that victory, my dude. Yeah, hopefully we can do. I can do a repeat because uh, last season I was double MVP for both men and co-ed, so I was <laughs> the best. Uh, th this time around, they brought more better people. Well, not like so see, they brought, or there's more good players that entered the league this season. So um, finals is gonna be. Uh, I don't know. I will. We'll see. I don't. I, don't, I can't really say for sure. Um, but I do feel a lot better than I was, and especially um, see, recovering from my ankle injury and also my like hip slash right knee been like iffy for pretty much half this year actually. Ever since like April, my right knee's been bugging me. Um, it's for the most part gone away. 
but I don't trust it yet, you know? I haven't really been doing, like, strength training or anything to really offset all that. Um, but yeah, so that'd be interesting. Uh, co-ed, I don't really have any... Funny enough, because, again, I... Uh, for co-ed, my team has been, you know, on top for the most part. Uh, even now, I guess, we're technically tied for first place anyways, but... Um... We were undefeated, and we were very close to beating the other team um, last week. We just made a blunder. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but um, yeah, I don't know. Cohen might not be winnable. Just really depends. Uh, men's, I feel like it should be winnable. Uh, we technically have, I guess, the best setup going on. I have two good hitters and myself, and myself is setting most of the time, so I'm not actually doing the hitting, the spiking, but. Um, again, hitters can't hit if there's no set, <laughs> so I'm usually able to correct most bad passes, and again, for those who've watched my men's games, I think for the most part I've been able to set pretty nicely. I've had some bad decision making, but what can I say, I'm, I'm not usually a setter, so um, just trying to transition to a different role is always interesting. Um, and then, you know, always trying to... Um, you know, cater to your hitters, that's what you really want to do. You don't want to like force them to do something that they're not not necessarily not capable of, because my hitters are pretty good. Um, but we still have to, you know, they're the ones hitting the ball, not me, so I still have to like put it in the right spot so that makes them comfortable enough to take a swing at it. Um, for the most part, they, or at least one of the guys, they, he swings like hard every time, which is, you know, good. You have to instill that fear um, at the hitter. Um, and then that's when, you know, later down, uh, each game, you can kind of change a little bit just to throw them off or, like, keep them on their toes. But yeah, for the most part, though, if they're afraid of you, you know, spiking it very hard at you, then yeah. Um, you have that, like, advantage. <laughs> um, throws off their morale. Because they're like, we can't stop this guy. Um, even my other dude that hits, um, I don't know, I, I just can't seem to get into sync with him. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see. Um, again, there's no more normal season play. It playoffs from now, from here on out. And yeah, just one more week. And then we'll be... Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be out of season for at least two or three months until this next season will start up. Probably closer to next summer, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, can you believe it's almost Christmas? Yes, yeah, two days away. I guess technically a day and a couple hours away. Um, yeah, it's definitely crazy to think about because it's already another year. <laughs> I don't remember what I was doing last year for uh, Christmas or this holiday. The Darren Sharks is paying off the car and that's nice. That's always nice. Yeah, in my parents' case, they... Uh, it's not necessarily a hit and run. It's more of a hit, and they couldn't. They didn't know what to do. <laughs> um, we had my mom and some other guy, and I think he was like Hispanic, and I guess they didn't really know English, and so they're like, uh, "We'll just go our separate ways." And yeah, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it was really lame situation that happened because now it's all this headache for no reason. Um, but can't do anything about that. Just gotta. Gotta do it. Do the I'm thing. Alright, gotta make sure not to score uh, all the points. It's like. Um, well... Let's make it easy for her. I don't think it really matters. I see. Yeah. So, apparently, she just wanna get the point or the score below 150. Because, you know, you can get three bullseyes and it'd be enough for 150. But, so if the teammate finishes the game of darts for you, then they rank up to, um... My turn. To baton ta uh, pass ranks, which is really nice. What should we do? But yeah, I've been actually pretty lucky with the darts, like, who shows up. <clears throat> so I never had to, like, do more than... I had to, to level up these, uh, dirts. I heard a uh, baton pass, I mean. Trust your instincts, they say. Uh, that's it. That is it. Yeah, trust yourself. 
Believe in yourself. I think she just has to do a triple on seven. Bam. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I love it. Nice up pair play. Thank goodness. We got zero points. Does that mean we make an excellent team? Oh hell yeah, we do. Is it because we were perfectly synced? I feel so motivated right now. Yes. We did, it. We did indeed. Alright. <laughs> I call next. Um I don't think you actually have to worry about Futaba. Yeah. Yeah, let's just play with play darts with her for fun. Let's get moving. Yeah, it's for fun. Because uh, we never put on pass okay. with Futaba. Uh, I'm assuming there's no dialogue with her. Sweat it and you'll regret oh, there is one, but I wonder if it actually increases anything. Because we, again, we don't baton pass with Butaba. Because we can just find out in a second. Mm -hmm. huh? what? <laughs> She's like, this is amazing. Whoa. You're great. Heck yeah. That was no problem. Leave it to me. <laughs> I didn't realize that Futaba and Sumiri are the same age. And Futaba is actually older. Which I didn't realize either. Because there's this thing about uh, Sumiri calling Futaba senpai. <laughs> like, what? I always thought Futaba was younger, but... Your turn now. I'm assuming she just took like a year off of school because of, you know, the trauma. But... Alright, gotta make sure I don't get. Hmm. Uh, she got triple eight, hmm. huh? Oh yeah. Oh, that's sixteen. Alright, Futaba, you got this. My uh, last round, things are getting really interesting, as they say. Leave it to me. So this is real. Oh wait, oh, wait. She's supposed to have dialogue, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually getting nervous. This is real. The dark is a bump in. Want to switch? I feel like it's kind of easy to tell which one's the best choice because you want to like pop them up, psych them up to, you know, win. And this one, you know, the silly thing. This one kind of like, I don't know. It doesn't encourage them really. I see. It's feeling of tension. It's totally real. Yes, I'm gonna clutch it out. Clutch it out. Probably has to do two. Nice. I mean, she doesn't get baton pass ranks, so it's kind of like for fun. But. None can best us. We charged, uh, we charged through the battlefield together. Also, she with a soda later. Soda. Yeah, she didn't get a baton pass, but that's okay. Nice. I'd be cool if she got like some other bonus, but I guess they didn't feel like. Giving you some other bonus. That was so fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to meet with everybody else. I'm assuming that should do it for now. So that their persona will uh, evolve again. Everyone with the okay. head rank. Pop it up. See yeah, everyone's been asking me to hang out, but I've been hanging out with Sumeria because we have to we have to romance her before it's too late. Well then. Okay. Hey. Oh yeah, we gotta go with my mentos next. I'm sorry to properly white white <laughs> write some lore for my series, though I cannot share any of it, as it has to do with the main mystery solving or surrounding the world. But I'm glad I'm finally working on it. Nice. Yeah, maybe by the end of next year we can actually uh, or you can uh, make some progress on actually making the actual game. That'll be fun. Yeah, we need to finish Futaba off. I think I'm gonna go do that right now, actually. Yeah, because she's not here today. It's Mira. She's not available. Of course, everyone else is available and they can evolve, but... Let me just get some of these people to 10 first. Mm -hmm. Let me check my vegetables, actually. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, 
What's also interesting too that uh, they're so cool. Concession. James? Give me something from the roof? Yes, please take me there. <laughs> it's a long shot. Uh, the first hurdle is writing stories from start to finish, true. Do you kind of have an idea of like how long the story's gonna be? Uh, I'm here for the vegetables. Oh wait. Yeah, it should be ready to harvest, right? Nice. Yeah. Next more vegetables. I, mean, I don't really need it, but Thank you. Uh, I think I want the moonlight carrots. Up, I think most of it's gonna be me using Moonlight Carrots on Joker because <laughs> Joker uses the most SP. He uses Mega Down for all that damage. Alright, let's uh, go hang out with Futaba. Finish off her uh, social link. I wonder if her. I don't know if my voice is correct, but <laughs> what if her persona. Evolves. I do have this one. Nope, we want to hang out. For real? For reals? Aren't you worried about Dr. Murky's deal, though? We messed this up. It's over for everyone. We'll be fine. Yeah, we have like two weeks plus. I think it ends at February or something. We have plenty of time. Dang, nothing gets to you, huh? Well, I guess we don't want to overthink this stuff either. Yeah, let's take the day off. Hey, James, I'm ready. Let's do the last thing on the promise list. Yep, yeah, let's go ahead and finish this out. The last thing on the promise list. Being okay without you around. I think I want to give it another shot. I'm coming for you, Akihab uh, Akihabara. I believe I said it before, but it's going to span over seven stories. I'm going to go take a look around with by myself. Story seven being a large epilogue. But well, where are they now? I think I remember the epilogue part. Because it's supposed to be like different consoles, I think. But no, nope. nah. I don't think I was. I, I knew if, or how many. I guess the stories. I don't know. Oh, you said with the last story being up alone. Nice. Yeah, let's listen to Futaba's adventures. Just stay here and wait for me to come back. Come I'm kind of nervous, but here I go. Time to make like a tree and branch out. Come in. Oh, 30 minutes have passed. She's still not back. Futaba's been gone for 45 minutes. I'm starting to get worried. Oh, there she is. Sorry, I totally forgot to check the time. <laughs> I, um, I was having fun. <laughs> Guess that means I beat my mission, huh? You know, it was the same Akihabara as before, but everything looked so different to me this time. It's not just here, though. My whole world is expanding. Every day brings new and different discoveries. The direction of Sojiro's cowlick, the atmosphere of Yongen, the various types of coffee beans. Things might be the exact same as they were yesterday, but from my perspective, it's all spinning. I knew it was possible. I was like, but I had never really uh, make like a tree and fuck off. <laughs> Yakuza thing. Maybe it was Yakuza thing. Like everyone else does. Definitely sounds more Yakuza y. <laughs> Oh yeah, we can choose these heroically for fun, even though, like, in her rank has been maxed out here. But actually, I don't think the questions are gonna be here. But yeah, they're not. Uh, you can do this. Maybe it doesn't matter what we choose. Oh, by the way, I, I got a text from Kana-chan saying she got a job at a convenience store. It sounds like
She's just happy to be living life like a normal teenager. Plus, she got study guides with the money she made. She's gonna take the high school entrance exam. Even nice. Kanachan's trying to step out into the world. Mm, can't lose to her. Yep, she's my new rival. <laughs> If I completed my promise list, oh, did remember? We? <laughs> I honor my promises. <laughs> you demand. You demand. You know, I was looking in a bunch of stores thinking about what to buy, but it felt kind of weird. There were plenty of things I wanted, but it was all stuff I could get if I worked really hard. And after all, I already have something I wouldn't have been able to get on my own. Mm. You don't think so? You're forgetting. You gave me something really important. Hope. We're running a sale today. You gave me my life back. Your life. It's thanks to you that I learned I'm fine just as I am. And that I learned to trust my mom again. No. I was as good as dead. But you resurrected me. I want to use my work with the Phantom Thieves to return you the favor. And when I remember all the friends I've made, it's like I'm tapping into some kind of unknown power. Oh, she's so cute. I am thou. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast Yeah, I decided to switch it back to English for this last DLC dungeon. Become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the hermit, granting thee infinite power. Infinite power. Nice. Heck yeah. Final guard. Chance to nullify a fatal attack to a current party member. Ooh, second awakening. Transforms persona into a mythological trickster. Alright. Nice. Alright. Oh. Ongyo Iki. Ongyo. <laughs> All these like rank 10 moments. <laughs> Especially if they evolve. Or it's like for your party members and they evolve. Ooh. I definitely didn't see this my first playthrough. <laughs> it looks like a chain job from Mario that's digitized or whatever. Necronomicon has turned into Prometheus. Nice. But, um. It's definitely like a very. Like. They like, shouldn't even be bitter. Back. It's just like so a it's my turn to risk my life for you. Feel free to great tell moment. Me anything. I don't know. It feels do like I can to help. bittersweet for some reason. Okay? <laughs> Even though we're still like very close friends and all that, but I'm counting on you. Leave it to me. And And I never said I was gonna let my reward go unclaimed. So let me see. I forgot what we're getting. Oh. Soba. Pretty good deal, huh? I don't want to order it off the net, though. Let's go look for it in the real world. Yeah. Now I know how much fun walking around can be. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. And for some reason, Prometheus has different stats. Oh, really? Oh, what's that? Find out if a foe is carrying a rare item ahead of time. Or what? Shouldn't I read? Know that? All attacks may defeat all foes and restore 25% HP to all allies. Nice. Yeah, does it look like a chain chomp? <laughs> or maybe like a ghastly? Just like digitized or something? That brain. I actually don't remember what the stats were, but I think at the end they, the stats don't matter, right? Since she doesn't actually take the field. Do some shopping. Lucky worker bag. Don't lose the battle against stress. Get back up with this lucky bag. Pick me up, Ty. It's physical ointment. Magic ointment. Wait, there's more. Next, we have the lucky muscle bag. Better your muscle and your mind. Even daily activities will strengthen you. Yeah, I don't need all that. It's funny because I have not been putting personas in the what? Time out room. <laughs> in lighted incense. I've probably been missing out on, again, maxing out 
Yeah, it's not Persona stats and such, but I don't know. Uh, I think I want the first one. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you guys uh, doing for the holidays or Christmas? If you celebrate it. Oh, another buyer has just called in. Thank you so much. Since you're doing the semi romance, I suppose you're at rank nine. I'm not 100% sure what rank I'm at, but I'm pretty close. It's either eight or nine. Probably eight, actually. Because nine is when you actually uh, romance or not. And then ten is the you know final meetup in which they would uh, evolve, right? I think I'm at eight. I'm at least at seven. Yeah, let me uh, double check real quick. Confidence. I'm at seven, no, so I'm not at eight. Meat. So, Linton, how are you? Yeah, unfortunately, we weren't able to procure said meat today, but hopefully, we're all well enough to make a future date. Are we able to get meat otherwise? I would say, uh, 8 and I actually uh, went to get meat ourselves. <laughs> Went to Chili's. But, um, yeah. How are you doing today? How's your, well, I guess the rest of your trip? Because, uh, as we uh, already shared with us that you were, I don't know, stalled, I guess, to get home. Basically, just slept all day long. Are you feeling better at least? Are you back to normal? More or less. Still sick, no. It's <laughs> sick of this Florida heat. Yeah, it was actually pretty warm today compared to the last couple days. So it's like you brought the heat back. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you do uh, regain your health so that actual Christmas is not terrible. Uh, so yeah, what are you guys all doing for Christmas? Uh, I think we want to play darts, actually, in the game. We'll play some darts. Play the catchy. I wonder what I'm going to be doing after I finish all this. The room I see between the two is kind of funny, so I can't wait to see you guys. But she's available to meet up tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably push to Sumeria's romance arc. Then I'll meet with everybody once, so that I'm assuming because it happened with um, uh, excuse me, uh, Morgana already, where their persona like fused the, their old and current one fused to make a super persona. Yeah, it's gonna see your 70s in December. Yep, 70s. I think outside's like 69, <laughs> 69 or something like that. Yeah, it's definitely. Very warm, 65, 63, but very warm. Yeah, it's hot, it's hot down here. <laughs> It'd be hot. Comparatively. What do you do? Uh, let's call it catchy. So I can max him out. Thank you! Yeah, it should be the last time we play darts. And I believe I've played enough um, billiards yes. to max out the technical rank. Yeah, this should do it. And it only snowed once by us, and it wasn't even an hour. And the snow on the ground barely lasted either. No. But yeah, catchy, catchy. Let's play 701. It'd be more fun that way. It's kind of funny because again, he's definitely not a team player because <laughs> he won't show up with the other teams. Our teammates. So Morgana does play with us, so it actually worked out. I think the fact that um actually wait. No Morgana was already maxed at the time. Yeah, so never mind. I did have to like waste a time. Cause it would be nice if Sumeri came and we would just do a catchy and Sumeri at the same time. But either way it doesn't matter because we had to play with the uh, catchy twice. Alright. Hmm. Oh. I see. 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I believe a catchy gets uh, 150 as well, triple bullseye. Hmm. <laughs> so very aggressive tagging. Yeah, this motherfucker right here. I hate him, but I love him. Yeah. I mean, like, he, he does have a tragic backstory, but he's evil. <laughs> so, like, what can you do? And then he, like, you know, trying to get us killed and all that, so it's like... <laughs> hate you. Better focus. But yeah. Yeah, love him, hate him. He's just that kind of guy. Oh, <laughs> I almost missed it. Nice. I forgot that he was left-handed, actually. <laughs> the easy bullseyes. Now they just say, if evil, why hot? I think this is the one guy you can't fix. Yeah, he's all messed up in the brain. Hey. Yeah, his whole life's up to now is what to enact revenge <laughs> upon his... Uh, bother, right? Oh, okay. I hella messed up. Hmm. Can I even win? I can't win, I messed up. <laughs> oh no. I can't do 50. Yes, it's over. We can't win this. Oops, what's the closest? 20 times 2? 40. It's our higher one. Because blue is triple, right? Or is it double? I don't remember. I don't remember. And let's just do 40, I guess. I don't think it matters. I just messed up. I busted! <laughs> oh, so blue is triple. Too bad for you. <laughs> what a pathetic result. Did it still rank up? Uh, we're going again. Let's do it. Oh, so we have to win regardless. If he wants to rank up his baton pass. Well. I mean, I don't think they have anything else to do at night, so if we just fail here then. Unfortunately. Yes. For real? For real? I don't know how I messed up that bad. I think it's because we had to flick. <laughs> we had to flip the controller to make it count. Or to actually throw the dart. Which is unfortunate. as catchy does, and we simply have to live with it, yeah. He's born this way. Oh, what? <laughs> See, when the For real? I flick and it doesn't actually register the flick, it's kind of like, eh. Yeah, for some reason I thought that we can just press a button to throw. We don't have to Fine, flick the controller like that. Hmm. Yeah.
Wait, so wouldn't it be better to get 20s all around? Like, I guess 60s. So what are, so why are we getting bull size for? <laughs> Alright, let's see. I almost missed it again. Hmm. Right, can we, oh, we can't end it here. Uh, guess we just go 50 again and get a 1. Alright, let's not miss here. Mm, I think that top area is probably better. Hey. <laughs> that was more stressful than it needed to be. Dark Smarts, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I nice. I can play with Morgana for fun. What was the sound effects for the darks in this game was archived? I love how they sound. I like the... Yeah. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure we can, like, record them separately, but I would have to do it some other time. Oh, yeah, it's funny because I just realized that Morgana playing darts is, like, how? <laughs> Morgana's a cat! Come in. <laughs> oh, you suck, Morgana. <laughs> All right, maybe not as bad. Yeah, I think in triples and triple twenties is better than getting fifties, right? Yes. It's all yours. So why don't I just go for sixties? No, I think if I just do 150s, or 150 is good enough. Or uh, Morgana to finish it off. So yeah, I'll just play it safe. Yes. For real? For real? Whoa. Yeah. Come in. Yeah, I don't think I have to worry about it, but hmm? what's the dialogue for? I think I'm counting on you. Yep. You have my thanks. Dun, 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 dun. Easy. Darts and billiards. Um, I'm trying to think what I would do. I think I was trying to fish to get the best prize. So I guess we can do that. But oh, hey. ah, James, cold as always, isn't it? But mm, that's part of winter's charm, I suppose. The air is so pure and crisp. There's a strange clarity to it all. As if something's suddenly, or everything's suddenly brought into sharper focus, both within and beyond ourselves. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> the Yusuke just being poetic out of nowhere. I wonder, I'm... There's no pressure, but can I see you again later? Just, uh, whenever you have time. Oh yeah, this is another one of those where, again, each party member is trying to have us meet again. Mainly so that they can evolve their persona. Um... You know, if Sumeri doesn't want to hang out, then we can hang out with one of our teammates to have them evolve their personas. Who's gonna look like he had something he wanted to say? Let's go talk to him. Let's see, Sumire. She is available. Alright, sorry. He's <laughs> gay. See, so yeah, they both want to evolve, but. Just 
no time. Yeah, cause we got ro romance. Romance the girl. Gotta get the girl. I believe I have my fake persona. Last time, yep, Siegfried. I believe I fused him very poorly. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> he has no, like, good moves. Charge is nice, but the other two is not really necessary. Dekakaja, or Dekakaja and that one. That one. Alright, let's just... Oh, let's save. I forgot why I have these separate save files, but... Whatever. And we're all seeing separate... Blah, 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 blah. Let's hang out. Hang out, but we have to do something before it's too late. You're right, maybe I'm getting a little overwhelmed, and I can't do my best if I'm too stuck in my own head. Thank you for your concern, Senpai. Let's use this day to relax. Um, Senpai, I realized something. If I want to find that boldness, I have to do something about my mindset. So, um, that's why uh, I was thinking we could try having you watch me. Do you have any plans today? What? Yep, let's go hang out. Um, can we meet up at a, the store in Shibuya? There's something I'd like to show you. Um, I'll go first and get myself ready. Now then, if you'd excuse me, I'll see you later. This is... Oh, she looks different. Oh, this is so working for you. I know you said you wanted people to see you, so I put together something a little more wild and eye-catching. Is that Sumeri? Wow, it's like I'm a totally different person. Yeah, <laughs> you've got some of the or that carnivore energy. What? They're a little bro, <laughs> a little herbivore meekness too. This savanna style will definitely turn heads. I see. <laughs> well, I guess it's important to have a balanced diet. Yeah, let's walk up to her. But who's that girl over there? <laughs> Oh, James, if I'm glad you made it. So, oh, wow. Anyway. Interesting. I wanted to surprise you, so I got here a little early to dress up. I tried this ensemble based on the staff's advice, uh, but what do you think? I've definitely been getting attention in this. Uh, some people are even staring. <laughs> this is sort of like showing off my own style, right? Uh, look at yourself. <laughs> that might be a little much. Oh, uh, you don't like it? I thought it was a pretty cool outfit. Well, to be honest, I could tell some of this was a little off. I mean, they say these are leopard spots, but it kind of, or it could just as easily be some kind of mutant giraffe. Or what? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we already have a panther. Exactly. We don't need another cat, girl. <laughs> anyway, uh, I should change. You know, I wonder if that's why um, Morgana likes Anne, because Morgana's a cat, and Anne's a cat, <laughs> more or less. <laughs> hmm. Actually, kind of makes sense if that's the case. Uh, I thought this might help me find some answers, but I guess I didn't go in with much of a plan. So once again, I totally misinterpreted everything and made no progress at all. <laughs> Classic Sumire. No, it's okay. I wasn't like this when I was looking for my father's glasses. I feel like I'm doing so much worse than what I thought I was, Kasumi. Oh. I don't even know if I'm worth showing off, let alone how to do it. Oh, what? I'm here for you, girl. Yeah, I'm here for you, girl. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're right. I have you, Senpai. I need to make sure you see the real me. Oh. As we know, society loves its cat girls and cat boys. Heck yeah. <laughs> Lindsay knows. Lindsay knows. Anyway, okay, I don't have time to be lost in my thoughts. I'll find some clothes that will help me show off my true self. But still, look at how many different styles there are. Huh? Why does this sweater have a hole? Where is this string going? What? <laughs> um, what do I do now? Uh, this is a lot harder than I thought. Hmm, this isn't it. All these clothes are very stylish, but I'm not sure I really want to be seen in them. How do I want to be seen? 
Or how do I want Senpai to see me? Senpai. Senpai. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, um, please don't stare at me like that. You started it. What, I can't look at you? Just tease her a little bit. It's not that, just I didn't think you'd stare back at me. Oh, right. Maybe it shouldn't be that one-sided. Oh, what? If I give other people attention, then surely I get attention in return. It's true, actually. I think I get it. Oh. I think I'll try on this one. Oh. Aw. That's a cute dress. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Um, what do you think? It looks great. You look really cute. I'm in love. Now let's do the you look really cute. Cute, uh, I mean, really cute? I, uh, well, what are you trying to say, Senpai? <laughs> I, I guess I'm, I mean, I know I'm happy to hear it. <laughs> Thank you for letting me show you a part of myself. Oh. I made up my mind. Um, could you wait here for a second? I need to go buy this. <laughs> yeah, she loved that answer. Thank goodness. I'm so glad I found something good. Did I help? Of course. Thanks to you, I think I realized something. When I first saw this or that piece, I kind of fell in love with it. And um, it's a little embarrassing to say this, but my first thought was that I couldn't wait for you to see me in it. I wonder what kind of face you'd make, or how'd you react? I wanted to see that side of you. Oh, um, I don't mean anything weird by that. I just wanted to show myself off to you, I guess. To see you and be seen. She's already hitting on us. <laughs> the more I thought about it, the more important that feeling became. You know, silly, like, this would never happen in real life. <laughs> but I don't think a girl would actually, like... Especially if you're not, like, dating or whatever. But, I don't know. I don't know. The dialogue is too, uh, too perfect. You know, the more I thought about it, the more important that feeling became. And then suddenly I just realized I wasn't nervous anymore. I see. So that's how it is, I see. Oh. I've always been really bad at making decisions on my own. I mean, Kasumi always picked perfect things for me anyway. I never really knew making my own decisions could feel validating. So I didn't really feel a need to choose anything for myself. After all, nobody expected me to. But today, I picked something because I liked it, and I felt confident in that. Even if you didn't like it, I don't think that would change how I feel about it. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. Yes. You are your own person, Sumire. Is that what Coach meant? Uh, about Kasumi wanting me to see how she felt? If that's true, then did she really think I was... Mm. Well, I can't say for sure, but I think as long as I've got you supporting me, I'll be okay. I guess that's a deep trust, or a deep bond of trust from Sumire. Nice. Oh, I liked when her card turned into, you know, her. <laughs> you know, for the whole time it was um, Kasumi, but then, you know, the revelation happened where she's actually somebody else or whatever. And then the, they changed the whole name and all that, which is pretty cool. Nice. Now we should head home. Thanks for coming out with me today. Oh, should we buy or go buy some clothes for you next time? You could always try on that Savannah ensemble. I think it might even suit you better than me. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> Chuck like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Thank you so much for going shopping with me today. Having you watch uh, help me find something I really... Wait. Yeah, having you watch help me find something I really liked. Oh, um... When I say it like that, it's actually a little embarrassing. But by the way, uh, where do you like to get your clothes from, Senpai? Uh, online. Why not if I do buy stuff like clothes online? Unless it's like super fancy clothes, but then I would go into a shop. But yeah, you should actually go online. 
I see. Well, online shopping is definitely convenient, but don't you get worried. The clothes always look so different in person than they do in the display pictures. I'd love to hear what you consider when you're picking things out. Isn't it so fun to pick out clothes though? That one I bought today was so gorgeous. It's almost too nice for me to actually wear it. Or what? <laughs> but I guess that defeats the purpose if I want people to see me in it. <laughs> oh, I guess I'd better get, let you go. Talk to you later. TTYL. Alright, I think it's time to go fishing. Yo. Yo. We have a busy end of the year. Make sure to treat your friends well. Yo. Oh, yeah, we got that box. Hey. Pick me up, Ty. I wish I wonder what the pick me up tie does. Oh. oh. Let's see. Pick me up tie. Oh, insta heal. Uh, decreases. Re oh, okay. Recovery time from ailments but to one turn. It's actually pretty handy. Yeah, we have plenty of time. We have 18 days. Uh, uh, I think I finished the video game. Let me check something. See if I did indeed finish that video game and get the uh, prize associated with it. Is it this one? Uh, it's not this one. Not this one. This. One. There we got the Featherman badge. That's it. I'm pretty sure it's like an amp. One of the amps. Yeah, wind amp. Alright, uh, let's do fishing, I think. Otherwise, play more video games. There's yeah, Lavenza. Plus, Mishima's chilling there. With some guy in a hat. Covetous man. Um, right, let's. You fool me. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go fishing. So I was trying to get this accessory. It, it just costs way too much. It's nighttime, so it only costs 1,000 yen to fish, and factoring in this weather, you might even catch him. He only eats a special type of bait, whether you can actually reel him in or not depends on you. Let me check. This one. Yeah, I'm not close to it at all. <laughs> but again, we have pretty much nothing left to do um, at night. So we could just farm up to get this fishing, fishing god badge. Yeah, I bought the miracle rod, but I don't even know what it does. So yeah, I think we're good. We can just go and fish. Let's do it. Let me use the fishing pond. When I'm featherman badge, perhaps it's a reference to Yukari. Oh yeah, because she is, wasn't that her persona. It's been so, it's a while, so long <laughs> since I've played P3. I think I played P3 earlier this year, like the beginning of the year. And then I went on my Final Fantasy binge. And here we are with Persona 5. Uh, let's do this one. Well, there's that big boy one. Oh. Uh, what fish? Look at that big boy. Big boy. Take the big boy. Yes. Oh, wait. Sorry, I forgot how to fish. <laughs> oh, no. Definitely bigger boy than the usual big boys. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Yeah. Nice. Heck yeah. Yeah, this is the first time I caught this one, I think. What do you want to do? Nice. Let's see what her version of Iris uses wind skills, yes, but in P4 Arena Max Ultimax, we learned that she's one of the Featherman characters. Oh interesting. Yeah, I actually have that game. I just haven't played it. Which again, bad on me for buying games I don't buy or don't play. <laughs> buying games I don't buy. What? Yes. But uh, that's the gamer and adult life. 
I'll say it doesn't also help that I replay games that I've already played. <laughs> like today I played, and I, the last couple days I've been playing a bunch of RE4 remake. Just to try to get a bunch of the achievements. But, why? But yeah, after I finish Persona 5, uh, I have a couple of options. I need to finish my Crisis Core playthrough. Um, I think I'm about halfway done. I actually don't know how long that storyline lasts. Um, I also have FF16's DLC that I didn't buy yet. Um, I'm assuming they did it the same way as in, um, I guess, other open world style games in general, where they kind of just added a region on the map and you just go there to do the oops, DLC. But it's kind of nice, I guess. It's kind of like integrated into the game. Nice. Yeah, I had to play that. I also have Shin Megami Tensei 5. Whoa. I technically still what have my um, Fire Emblem Three Houses run. I haven't finished. I'm obsessed too far. I don't know. It's just too many things to do and. Uh, my uh, remote job's actually been picking up this past month. I keep checking on top of the fish and not in front of the fish. There you go. Yes. And so yeah, just, and also going back to playing volleyball. Whoa. So it's hmm. not enough time in the day to do everything. <laughs> Keep throwing it too far. It's not far enough. I was right on it. Nice. Oh, yeah. The other games I want to play are uh, the Yakuza series. Yakuza series. I'm on Yakuza 4 next. Um, Horizon Forbidden West is one I wanted to play too. Uh, God of War Ragnarok is another one. How many games? Just not enough time. Yeah, maybe after this uh, volleyball league season ends, I can. Whoa! <laughs> I can really feel your passion for the fishing pond. 10k points, heck yeah! Nice. Let's see. Nice. Ooh, 5k. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get like 7 to 8k right here. Let's see how you did. Oh, 14. <laughs> I can't count. Let's see. Maybe I said Isis. Ooh, Isis. Is, is. <laughs> uh, I think I actually have enough bait for the rest of the fishing stuff. I might have to buy, you know, more of these later, but... I kind of wish I didn't buy this Miracle Rod. Because I seem to have been fishing fine with the Casual Rod. Because I think I read the fishing manual. I think that adds, like, the amount of times that your rod can fail. I don't know, but yeah, once I bought the Miracle Rod, I didn't feel any increase in, like, difficulty or whatever. Or fishing, so I don't even know if it was worth. Oh, wow. Well. Nice. actually got some fishing, too. Yep, I remember that. Um, I didn't really, like, do all of the side quests and stuff. I think I definitely did a lot of them and they're hilarious, <laughs> but um, yeah, I did some of the fishing, but not all that much of the fishing. Oh, Makoto wants to hang out too. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to speak with you. Uh, something to discuss. Nothing that formal, really. Just something to talk to you about. Uh, if you have time, uh, can we talk? Thank you very much. Uh, then let's keep moving for now. Dude, something is wrong with Ushimaru. What do you mean? I don't know, something's up. 
I guess it's not wrong, but he's all different. Anyone know what he's saying? Ushimaru, <laughs> uh, a strict teacher. He's a chalk throwing marksman. Oh yeah, he is. Ah, say no more. What exactly is different? His personality? What? He's super nice now? That's just it. He's so nice. It's creepy. But no matter who I ask, they tell me he's always been like this. Or what? We got people saying he's basically the school's own Buddha. It does sound as if he's been enlightened, I suppose. Uh, so Dr. Maruki has changed someone's personality? If he really wanted to change, then yes, it's possible. But Ishimaru, of all people, is like how I wish to be Kazumi. It's like your own situations, most probably. Something in his past have been uh, overwritten. Or must have been overwritten. It's also possible his personality just changed, independent of any external events. You figure the real Ushimaru went through something bad? Maybe he was so nice to everyone, the students took advantage of him and went full delinquent. Uh, that would be traumatic. Well, we can uh, we can speculate all we like. He's the only one uh, who could say for sure what's changed. It's still difficult to understand. So if it would serve his or uh, their happiness, even one's personality can change. Uh, I bet he's happy now, like a change of heart. I guess uh, though it's not like Yushimaru was full on evil. I'm getting so mad. I'm gonna go to sleep. Or what? <laughs> Is that even a thing people do when they're mad? Yeah, I used to do that actually. Just sleep, sleep it off. Honestly, you can always just pay attention to class. <laughs> Ishimaru, huh? Uh, it's hard to believe. Guess we'll just have to check it out uh, when we're in his class. All right. Let's see, is Sumire available? Hey, 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 hey. Triple seven. Alright, Sumire. She is not available. Nice, so we can actually level up with one of our party members. Uh, Ryuji already asked us before, but maybe we should just hang out with Makoto just because she said stuff. Um, okay, it doesn't really matter. We're going to go through each of them one by one before going back to mementos. Um... Let me think. We have what? Seven party members? Hmm. I guess we can talk with Makoto. You know, Ryuji's right here. I feel like Ryuji's always here. <laughs> Is Makoto up here? Where's Makoto? Oh, she's over here. Front of the library. Hello. Oh, James, you're here. Oh, you're bar a bit of your time. There's something I need to tell you. Sounds like Makoto has something important to tell me. Looks like Makoto has something to say. Uh, so, what's it gonna be? Do you want to hang out with Makoto? Do I? I'm assuming I don't need the persona. Empress? No, she's not Empress. She is Priestess. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, she is pretty sad, so it doesn't matter. Playing this one mobile game has gotten me to want to watch the animes that they cross over with. Wait, which which mobile game? Can we talk for a little while? Yes, I started a new mobile game that just came out. Uh, it's called Echo Apocalypse or something. Apocalypse game. It's called Land Grisser Mobile. I feel like I've heard of that. Yeah, I haven't checked it out or anything like that. Let's go ahead and hang out with Thank Makoto. You very much. Thank you. Let's get going then. I kind of wish we could uh, we could hang out with some of these peeps at night. I'm sorry. Oh, mm, she's not gonna say her whole thing. Sorry for calling you over so suddenly. There's something I just had to tell you. Wait, why are we are we in her room? Oh, what? <laughs> Did something happen? Honestly, I wanted to apologize. I couldn't back you up when you need me the most. Um, what do you mean? That's not true. You came in right before we were getting destroyed by <laughs> Dr. Maruki's lackey. 
That's not true. But it is true. Ever since the new year, I was stuck in Dr. Murky's false reality. Hey. Do you remember that time before I joined the Phantom Thieves when I called you to the student council room? I love this, like, soundtrack. It's like... Sad. <laughs> sad, but still, like... I don't know. I need to figure out what this uh, soundtrack's called and put on my playlist. Well, we haven't been to her room yet, have we? I don't think we have. Um, unless there's a... Like, it happens when you romance her. But I did not do that. But yeah, I don't remember being in her room. So yeah. I challenged you on your ideals. Threatened to expose you all. As if I knew anything about what was going on. But since then, I've learned so much from the Phantom Thieves. From you. You've saved me. More times than I could possibly count. After all that, I promised myself that if you were ever in trouble, I would leap in to save you. But I forgot that vow. I just threw it all away so I could cling to father and sis. It's awful to know that all along I was so weak and self-centered. We're all like that. It was really nice and very neat, unlike my room. <laughs> I just, I have stuff everywhere. And some stuff, it like, sucks too, because like... Some stuff I just can't really get rid of, you know. Wish I had that desk setup she has by the corner, corner thing. I have a corner table, um, but it's like littered with stuff. So yeah, I'm not a neat person. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe one day I have that organized chaos uh, thing going on. <laughs> I don't know where everything is. Just don't try to tidy it up. <laughs> Do you think so? Maybe... No, maybe... You're right. It's strange, though. I can always forgive mistakes from others, but never from myself. It seems... No, I think I'm more lonely than I was willing to admit. Father never spent much time at home when he was there. He always had his mind on some case. And Sis put all her time into her work, for both of our sakes. I respected them so much, and I still do, of course, but I can't just let them take care of me forever. That's your decision? <laughs> it's what I think, at least, uh, though it's a fairly new idea for me. If I hadn't been in the, uh, this situation, I'm not sure if, or I'm not sure it would even have occurred to me. In any case, I've made my decision. I'm done just sitting quietly and doing as I'm told. If I'm weak or self-centered or lonely or too dependent on my family, then that's my problem to fix. But uh, my pain's still a part of me. All the struggles, your or uh, your support, it's what uh, helped me stand up for myself. I can't lose that. I'm not exactly abandoning the person I was, but I figure trying to ball it up will only make my life harder. I want to be able to look at the, uh, the most awful, disgraceful parts of myself and still be able to say, so what? Uh, that's great. Thank you very much. It's a relief to know you're supporting me. If I can get everyone to understand me and really see who I am, then I think that'll give me uh, strength. If I'm ever tempted like this again, I'll remember to stay true to myself, even if it's not a conscious decision. That's why I wanted to apologize. I guess I'm not completely ready to stand on my own just yet, but I'll keep trying and I won't run away. Nice. Now her persona will digivolve. <laughs> of course, Third Awakening is easily your favorite. Ooh. Do they get on top of each other? <laughs> Let's see what they get. What do we get? Oh, it's a freaking Batmobile. <laughs> Pretty much. Or I guess it's still a motorcycle. So that's it. <laughs> this is me? Oh, I get it now. Alright. Makoto's persona, Anat, has transformed into Agnes. <laughs> that name though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Actually, someone reminds me of uh Snow's Idolin from Final Fantasy 13. The motor vehicle. Um, oh, I put my mega collection on my shelf. It'd be nice if I had a desk shelf. Nice. Oh, how big is your mega collection or manga collection? My younger sister has so much manga. Um, 
I'm pretty sure she has like five or six bookcases full <laughs> um, of manga. Maybe more than that, I don't know. I haven't actually seen her set up in a while. But yeah, when she was uh, still living at home here, um, yeah, she <laughs> just had like five or six bookcases <laughs> full of books or full of manga. And books too, she read uh, normal fantasy books as well. Uh, we returned to bike after being a transformer. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. It's strange. All it took uh, to make my heart stronger was to put myself first. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Nope, that sounds like you. Sorry, but it looks like I'll still have to rely on you a little while, uh, while longer. So I hope you're prepared. <laughs> oh man. I'll see you later. Thanks for staying over so late too. I'll see you later. Noise. Oh, checkmate. That's new. Oh, this is better than, uh, whatchamacallit. I think this is better than Dakunda. Of course, it costs a buttload more, <laughs> but... This is like debilitate on steroids, or whatever. AoE. Checkmate. I like that. Checkmate. Hmm. And also has the best third tier skill. This checkmate. Checkmate so good. See, yeah, Joker has like thermal ply or something like that. Yeah. Or at least one of my personas has thermal ply. Thanks for Fortuna. Yep. So yeah, just boost everyone's thing. And then Makoto can reduce everybody's or all the enemies' uh, things. Let's see, I think we're going back to fishing. I think... Where have you been? I think we have to do this twice. Welcome. We need to fish two more times. Uh, let me use the fishing bone. I love how they give us the small baits, but we never use them because we have everything else. I'm assuming there's gonna be a big boy right there. Big boy. I mean, a big boy. What's well, necessary for the Maruki pipe? Hopefully, that's not gonna be too bad. I am playing a super normal, so I doubt I'll have that much trouble, but I think mean, we'll see. Cause we're actually not maxed out at all. Like, nice. oh yeah. What do you want to do? Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna what I'm in store for, but yeah. I have a feeling Joker's gonna be the DPS guy, and everyone else is gonna sport. Too far. Oh, not far enough. Or perfect, actually. Whoa! What do you want to do? <laughs> the fish is like, what? Put it right on top of him. Nice. What do you want to do? Let's keep going. That is too far. Nope, that's perfect. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, too far. <laughs> Whoa! I don't know if I'll be able to finish tonight. Whoa. I definitely want to try. But I have a feeling I might have to split this up into two parts. Yes. 
Let's see, my goal this stream is to again get all the confidants maxed out and evolved. Whoa. <laughs> 55. Nice thing we like 12. Well, we got more than last time. <laughs> That's hilarious. And done for now. Nice. You're gonna fill out all the confidants. Or like have them all evolve. Romance, our girl, Samire. And maybe go to Mementos. Yeah, definitely go to Mementos actually. Good morning. That's Haru. Hey James, uh, might I borrow you for a minute? I think we need to talk. Can you come to the roof after school? Something happened? Mm, you'll find out soon enough. Oh, only joking. It's nothing terribly important, really. Whenever you're free, I'll be waiting. I know it's a bit sudden. My apologies. Now, shall oh, we go? Looks like the train's coming. Let's line up. Mimi. <laughs> Mimi Mentos. Have we all heard? The economy is apparently doing well this year. Because of that, I tried getting into the stock market. Not a thing you want to jump into with no experience. I lost five months of my allowance in one fell swoop. It wasn't a huge loss, so it's not that bad, but it's quite a thing to stare your future or your failure in the face. My portfolio, oh, portfolio looked awful. Hey, speaking of things being awful, I used to uh, use that word because my portfolio <laughs> looked terribly, t or absolutely terrible, but awful originally meant something else. Or what? So dream, I question, what is, the answer? What, is uh, what did the word awful originally mean? I actually don't know. I want to guess. I would say, well, if he's saying maybe baffling, it still has to like be similar, right? Otherwise, it's the actual other meaning. So let me be impressive. Well, I would say baffling. Oh, either one or two. So it was not awful. <laughs> Oh, part of me like awe, like shock and awe, so full of awe. It's probably impressive, if that's the case. Now that I think about it. Yeah, it says impressive. Yeah. This is it. Correct. That is correct. <laughs> yes, it was only comparatively recently uh, that awful took on a negative implication. It was stood for awe of any kind. Nice. This is why older English documents use phrases like awful majesty and awful power. It could still be used to imply a certain kind of dread. That was just one of the several possible or yeah, possible uses back then. But times change and language evolved as centuries went by. We ended up with more specific words. Awful for the bad and awesome for the good. Whoa, he actually knew that. Thanks. It's funny that even now we're still gaining these traits, but of course not everyone you know, might use the guide <laughs> in their first playthrough. Oh, it's time already. Let's uh, me say one last thing. After this winter, you'll all be studying for exams. You can use your time wisely or slack off. Either way, I guess your test scores are going to be awful. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, yeah. I see. Well, one thing's for sure, you're definitely an impressive guy. Awe-inspiring might be a little much, but I know I can count on you. I would say time to romance Sumire. Let's do it. You available? Sumire, yeah. Nice. All right. It is almost time. Mm. Let's hang out. What? We need to fall in love first. <laughs> Don't I overthink see. it. All right. So I wanted to tell you something today. May I have a little bit of your time? Heck yeah. Yeah, we're spending time. Senpai. Senpai, thank you so much. Oh, but 
as to where do we go? If possible, I'd like to go somewhere we can have a quiet discussion. Wanna come over? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, well, your house, Senpai? I, uh, I, I think that's a bit early. I mean, I don't know if my heart's ready for that. So. Oh, when you say come over, you meant to LeBlanc. I'm so sorry, I jumped the gun. It's like, what do you think about her? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I suppose we would be able to talk in peace there. Um, if that's really okay, I'll head over there. Um, sorry for dropping in on you like this. I hope it's not too much trouble. It's no problem. We'll call it holiday hours. It's fine because. For the most part, nothing we can, yeah, nothing we say will be bad. Whatever. I just need to talk to you about something in person. <laughs> wow, it smells great. Thank you. Hmm, it's really good. Something about it is relaxing. Please listen to me. I think I'll be ready to show Coach Hira Hiraguchi my performance soon. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to be there when I do. Is that okay? Definitely. Of course. Definitely. Great. I'm so glad. But that's not what I came here to talk about. Oh. Um. Do you remember what I said when we went clothes shopping? I talked about wanting you to see me and how that helped me stop worrying. Of course I do. <laughs> I'm so glad you remember. I was thinking about Kasumi. I wondered uh, how she must have felt, thinking she didn't want to lose to me and wanted me to watch her. Maybe that's what we had in common. We both wanted someone specific to see our efforts, to see us as we are. As long as we have that someone watching us, we can stay strong. So, so I finally realized something. I think part of Kasumi's strength came from that. I was the one she was thinking of. I never heard her say it, but maybe she'd been trying to tell me through her performance. I can't believe it took me this long to figure it out. I'm such an idiot, but I'm glad I finally realized it. Even as worthless as I am, I hope I still helped Kasumi somehow. I know you did. You're not worthless. This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. I know you did. It's new beginning. Yes. Yes, I think so too. Kasumi's beyond any apologies I could give her. I can't tell her how I feel. She'll never see me perform. That's reality, and it happened because of me. I've been running away from that for a long time, but I'm done running now. It's time to stand on my own two feet. I want to live for both of us now, for the sake of everything we wanted. Mm. I want to grow even stronger. Even if I end up in tears from uh, failing at a meet, or if the pressure's too much for me sometimes, with Kasumi's confidence and the grace she recognizes in me, I'm going to keep moving up. I'm going to show Kasumi who Sumire Yoshizawa really is. I guess it's a strong resolve from Sumire. Oh. Uh, a chance to shield Joker from an otherwise fatal attack. Um, and so, now that I'm committed to, you know, not running away from my feelings, I, um, th there's something I need to tell you, Senpai. Um, go ahead. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, the nervous was just kick in, I guess. I realized it was less a matter of showing off and more wanting someone to watch me. That is, wanting someone special to watch me. Someone I'd want to have eyes only for me. And I thought to myself, well, for me, that special person's obviously Senpai. So, I think that means I'm in love. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. I'm in... Uh, in love? <laughs> I... I I'm in love with you. Oh, that's so cute. She just, she just did it. I should choose my words carefully. Um, but the last thing I want to do is make you uncomfortable, so... I love you too. What? <laughs> Her eyes, she's like... <laughs> what? 
you'd love me back? Oh, <laughs> so I guess that means it's mutual then. Mm -hmm. So, um, what happens now? Why, does that mean you'll be my boyfriend? Well, um, I mean, I guess that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> so, oh, what am I saying? Take your time. So sorry, I'm the one who confessed and now I'm totally messing this up. Honestly, I never expected I'd get this far. <laughs> James, would you look at me for a moment? What? I want to know if if it's uh, if it'll feel any different now that we're oh, Wow, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. And you know what? Never mind. Oh, what? <laughs> so you can't back out of this now, girl. We in there. <laughs> um. Whoa. <laughs> I'm um. You. <laughs> oh, she's so adorable. Oh, any different? You're so red right now. You're so cute. Let's just make her blush even harder. Harder. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> I can't take it. I feel like I'm melting. But oh, uh, what do I do? I'm so embarrassed, but I want to be even closer to you, Senpai. I, Aww. I love you. She's so cute. I'll always want your eyes on me. Oh, I'm now in a relationship with Samire. Wait all game to do this. There's no turning back now. Um, I think if we get any closer, we'll bump our glasses together. <laughs> But we could always take them off. Mm. Samir and I spent some alone time together. Mm. Hi. Doing things. Anyways, I need to get going to practice. <laughs> I took Samir to the train station. My closest partner. Hi. Uh, um, th 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 thank you very much for seeing me today. I'm sorry, I just pretend you didn't hear my voice crack or cracking. I'm so selfish. I feel like I just left, but I already miss you. Oh. Just thinking about you stresses me out, but at the same time, I'm so happy, but stuck in panic mode. It feels as if I'm constantly riding a roller coaster. I don't know what to do. Get used to it. Because <laughs> we're in for a long haul. I'm bumping glasses. Oh, no. <laughs> This is that even possible? I feel like you have to be some kind of a Zen master to be calm about this. But I guess it's like gymnastics. I only get better by training. So for this, I should always stay by or stay at your side. Oh. Oh, it's useless. Just visualizing it makes me feel like I'm about to explode. <laughs> I feel like I can barely make sense of all these feelings, but there's one thing I know for sure. I'm so happy that we've gotten this close, that our relationship has gotten this strong. James, please stay by my side forever. Oh, I'd better get, uh, let you go. I'd love to keep talking, but I'll save it for another time. Nice. She's adorable. And the thing is, like, the whole game is, like, building up to it. So it's just, like, it's as if it's canon that, you know, Kasumi or Sumire. And main character Joker get together. Hmm? I should write something. <laughs> yeah, bumping glasses. Bumping, bumping glasses. All right, we're in it. We're in there. All right. Uh, still gotta go fishing though. I get that hundred k. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I'm assuming the big boy's not gonna be here since it's not raining. Yeah. I, mean, I guess it could still appear, but I doubt it. Oh my god. I kinda hate how it has to like be facing the lure. Oops, it's too far. <laughs> Makes sense, but it's still it's kind of annoying. And I keep tossing out too far. There we go. Yes. Oh, harder, harder. What do you want to do? 
We have a pretty good feeling we have to fish one more time. Because we're not going to get the big boy fish. Big boy. I guess we technically could still get it, but... What do you want to do? Oh. Nice. You're gonna be heading out now? It was good to come here. Nice. Yeah, I appreciate you stopping in. What do you want to do? If I don't stream and don't see you for Christmas and Merry Christmas, and I will catch you next time. I say that romance scene with uh, Sumeria was very, very good. Very cute. Actually, I don't think that is a big fish. Let's get this one way out there. It's not far enough. too far. It's not far enough. Or it's too far too. There we go. Nice. I'm going to make you the update on code arrivals if anything major gets done. Nice. Yep. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty nice that uh, it seems to be... Oh, big boy fish. But it seems to be that uh, your commissioner is working really diligently. That's way too far. Yeah, give me that. Yes. Whoa. Oh, it would be pretty cool though, because if you made like a uh was it a 16 bit or 8 bit version, you know, using RPG Maker or something to start? Yeah. Ah! Oh no! No! And then you can, like, you know, let it grow and be, you know, big as an indie game. And then maybe if you get enough resources in the future, you can technically make a remake <laughs> of the same game nice. down the road. Whoa. That was the last one. Uh, Is this enough to finish? Let's see how you did. Not quite. Yep, need one more time. Too bad I can't like give back some of the prizes we have or whatever. To get points. Nice. Yeah, we definitely have enough. But I guess not like we have anything else to do at night, so just go fishing again. Anytime. I'm trying to think what we would do after the fact. Like after we're done fishing. I don't think there's really anything else. Hey, do I have any books? No more books. I wonder if there is any more books, like at the stores to buy. I'm gonna check. So I definitely have not been. Alright, sorry again. She's like, talk to me. <laughs> well, good morning. Everyone's really changed. Can this really be what happiness is? Hey, why don't we go to Momentus today? Oh, okay. We can't just leave things the way they are. Oh, I have other plans. Okay. Oh, I guess we can't do anything about that then. If it turns out you can go through, or go though, please tell me. I'll make sure I'm ready. <laughs> yes, so. Uh, I caught myself thinking about boss. Wait, boss? Wait, boss from Catherine? <laughs> the wish boss. The whole family together for dinner. Isn't that how we've always done it? Boss. Big boss. We got... Ooh. She was hanging out. I believe we were rushing right over. 
Good afternoon, Senpai. If it's not too much trouble, maybe we can meet up today? What's the plan? Are you gonna see Sumire? Go at once! Thank you. I'll be waiting in Kichijoji. Yeah, we in there. There you go. I'll just add this. Let's go save. Uh, I should oh, actually, actually wait. I kind of jumped the gun on that. I should have gotten the uh, vegetables. 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 Good day. There's some saying don't win to part of the final roots of treasure. I just want the vegetables. <laughs> vegetables. New vegetables. Um, yeah, maybe just more of these. More moonlight carrots. It's so good that we have these vegetables. I think it's cool that they brought that from E4. More or less. I don't know if P3 had. I don't think it had vegetables. Yeah, they had in P3. Or P4, I mean. I don't know if. Like, which vegetables they had if they were like on the same plane of useful <laughs> as this. Oh my god, already evolved. So yeah, so we actually can't. Oh, we can evolve Putabas further. Let's see where I... Let's actually max you out. Yeah, let's hang out. Don't overthink it, girl. Thank you for your concern, Senpai. Let's stick, stay to relax. I'm actually going to go and perform my routine for my coach right now. And I was hoping you'd come watch me, Senpai. I'm confident that I can show her my answer through my routine. So if you've got the time to spare on me, then please. Uh, yep, hang out with her. Let's do it. I love that that's, there's hearts. Oh. <laughs> Do your thing, girl. It's like my coach is yet to arrive. I'm usually so nervous when Coach Hiraguchi watches my performance, partially because she's worked with me for so long. That's why I don't want to let her down. But today, today I'm excited about this. You look radiant today. Oh, thank you. When you compliment me like that, I feel like everything's going to turn out well in the end. Ah, thank you for making time to observe me today. I really wanted to get an unbiased evaluation from you. You got a good look on your face today, Sumire. Yes, ma'am. I'm confident in the routine I'm about to perform. Well, at first glance, I'd say you look like you've got it all figured out. But, I'm here to gauge your performance, not just let you brag about it. Now, begin. Ma'am. Ma'am. Even her starting form's changed. Could this be your doing? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's all smeary. You two are cute together. Oh. Okay, I think we get right, this particular, like, cutscene and all this. If you romance her, uh, if not, then I think it's probably slightly different. That's what I've noticed. Because the dialogue options don't match sometimes. Or whatever. Thank you for watching. Hmm. You've grown so much, Sumire. Mm. I'm sure this is no surprise to you, but the path to international success will be harsh and relentless. Are you ready? Absolutely. I will be number one in the world of gymnastics. I will make our dream a reality. Glad to hear you're so sure. With your natural grace and dedication to reach the gauntlet, no matter how far it is from your grasp, your dream is no longer impossible. And you're the one who decided that, not me. Huh? 
You didn't even realize it, did you? Today's the first time you've told me you will win on an international level. Until today, you'd only tell me, I hope I win. Oh! Perhaps you even have someone special. The person who makes you want to dance just for them? Well, that's... Mm -hmm. um... I... Uh... My, it seems you haven't quite made a total transformation. <laughs> Don't rush it. It's good to hear you have someone who really understands you in your corner. Mm -hmm. Your performance today truly was impressive. I'm looking forward to your next lesson already. Coach. Me too! Coach Hiraguchi liked my routine. You must be happy. Happy doesn't even begin to describe how I feel. Super duper. I'm super duper happy right now. Thanks to you, I feel like I finally found the answer I've been searching for, as well as discovering what's most important to me while performing. And that is? Is it somebody left? And that is? Do I really have to spell it out? <laughs> yes. I've learned all sorts of things from my time with you. Now, I can show everyone how I really feel, and the two of us can take the crown of the gymnastics world. I feel strong, balanced, and ready. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of faith, granting the infinite power. You can now fuse Maria, most powerful persona of the Faith Arcana. Heck yeah. I think it just means I've maxed out everybody. All the confidants. All the confidants. Ooh, nice. This is the new me. I finally found it. All right. Uh, Sumeria's persona, Cendrillion. Has transformed into Vanadis. Vanadis. I know it's a bit late, but I can feel my body start to shake. I think it's finally hitting me. I managed to really give it my best. Oh. And there's more to come. You were amazing out there. Really? Then. I'm glad I pushed myself hard enough for you to see my best. Senpai, I have a favor to ask. Um, will you hold me tight? Like before? Like before? <laughs> we didn't see it before. Unless this happened like... When I wasn't looking. Oh no. <laughs> I thought this would shock me shaking. But now it feels like my heart's about to burst. No. Oh. Uh, don't want to let you go. <laughs> Good. No. Oh. If I can just hang on to this warm place in my mind, I feel like I can push myself further than I've ever gone before. I love you, Senpai. Oh. Now and forever. This is a really cute scene. I spent a long time with Tamiri. Nice. You made the cuss. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm getting rid of one of these. I think this one's not really necessary. Brave Step's nice. Vocal Blade. I think I can get rid of the... I think the single target. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Hello, Senpai. I wanted to thank you for everything. I feel like I finally managed to move past my tra or the trauma. 
I'm ready to be an international champion. And Kasumi, well, she'll be right there with me. That's why I want to turn this world back to how it used to be. I want to keep my promise with her. Uh, I'm counting on you. Great. I'll do everything in my power to support you. With me, Kasumi, and all right, with me, Kasumi, and you combined, we'll be invincible. I'm thinking of tying my hair up again. I know it sounds a little pretentious, but it'll be proof of my resolve. Like a reminder, so I'll always remember Kasu uh, Kasumi's true feelings. Oh, I'm sorry for talking for so long. Hope we can accomplish even more together. Okay, good night. What's going on? Nope. Uh, fishing one last time, I think. Be it. Yeah, it's fine. I think Welcome. other nights would be if there's any games left to play. Thank you. Well then. Okay. Too close. Too close. Too close. gonna cast it. So far away. For real? For real? Nice. nice. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Nice. Wow, we made it again more than the other ones. Alright, let's go ahead and buy it. Actually, make sure one able to avoid any attack. Again, I believe it's not that good. <laughs> but just to have it, I'll do it. Or take it. 
Uh, let's go ahead and buy more for the future, I guess. Not like I'm gonna do it again, but you know. Oh wait, I bought the wrong one. Oh cool. I'm done here. Nice. So we are done with fishing. Drop by any time. Help me, please. Help. Hey, guess what? They finally granted my wish. Not so loud. Jeez, we're still on the train, you know? What's this about a wish? They added a new course to the batting cages, so what? It's amazing. I never would have thought that it could. Hey, why are you looking at me like that for? Let's check out together on the way home. New course. He sure seemed fired up about it. Get started with class. How far did we go last time? Oh, it's, it's a free time. Guess we make tools. Uh, what do I want to make? Is the question. It's kind of funny. I can make another promo pick if I wanted to. You know, it does nothing. Uh, and Gito bomb. What else is it? Only a hundred. Mm. I don't need these, but let's make them for fun. Happy bum. Was this holy? Blessed. to hang out with today? Uh oh. Nobody! Why? Why? That's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, I guess we're just gonna waste time and do nothing. Yeah, no one's available. Uh, I guess we can just run around. Oh, it's, it's today's date. Not the 22nd. Um... It's like bookstores and stuff. Pretty sure there's a bookstore in the Central Street. Let's see something. Alright, where's that bookstore? It's right here. I don't think there's any other books to read. It's like a word end game. Please take your time. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's no more DVDs. We pretty much bought everything. Welcome. Oh, T. Oh, these are rented, though. But.
it's really coming down. Really coming down. I'm not sure there's any treasure I need to sell. It's raining. It's raining. Yo. Okay. Oh, we have plenty to sell. You should be grateful. All right. All right. Which one? I actually oh, definitely. That's a very serious expression. Take your time and look around. Democracy. Look at that power. How about a fiery red? Fiery <laughs> red. Gonna miss when that goes off. Triple six. Oh, what? Mega power. Right. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of power, but the accuracy, though. The accuracy is low. I, I noticed that there's no, like, elemental or anything. Side effect. These bullets. No, uh, that 50-50 is kind of like, is it worth it? Honestly, that I probably wouldn't even use the gun. That one good. But it's free, so yeah, might as well. Um, small power. The air is dry, so be careful when you're handling gunpowder. That's what you're choosing, sure thing. Sure thing. Oh yeah, Mauser. Oh, this guy. It's dry in the winter. Be careful. Yeah, get some. To misfire if it gets too humid. Mm, that one good. Good. Oh, Roosevelt. The only problem is that it lacks power. So maybe you could. That's what you're choosing. Sure thing. That's what you're choosing. What are you buying? Okay. Sounds good. That's the first time I actually looked at his I purchased the other day. I think you'll like it. His wares. <laughs> All right. All right. Which one? I hope for Joker the this stuff is better. Protectors thanks to the popularity of survival games. Survival games. What? <laughs> like a uh... Squid games and all that. But yeah, it's definitely better to make gear from the chair. So yeah, come again. Let that be. Oh, witch's robe. Oh, black tights. Wait for a catchy? Oh, what? Oh, I didn't notice that he can actually wear... I don't remember, they're all male. I was gonna say, like, for some reason, the black tights made it seem as if they were female pants. <laughs> it was like, you do you. <laughs> I catch you. You do you. So I ain't gotta say nothing. Uh... Hmm, rest of life. <laughs> Alright, having this again, plus seven magic is too good. Alright, I send you this. Like, turn into a ring. So there's pretty much nothing to do today, which I'm kind of sad about. Um, I guess we can go to the bookstore here. Oh. Yep. 
Uh, if only I read that. Oh well, we're good. Uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Anything else we can gain? What's this place? Oh, the book place. Our bookstore caters to experts, so the books here might be a tad difficult for most high schoolers. Well, I'll sell you the easiest book that we've got. Go ahead and take your time with it. Oh, what? Finally, guts to face death. Actually, have not been to the shrine before. I don't think so, anyways. It's kind of calming to see such an imposing building. Praying that the Meiji shrine will strengthen the bond that you have with one of your confidants. A large donation will increase the chance of your wish being granted. You can even deepen bonds with confidants who you cannot meet on that day. What well, do you want to do? Isn't this pretty much for like this is the same as the um, fortune things, right? Yeah, I think the bonds you have with everyone are already really strong. You got other stuff to do, right? You don't need any divine intervention right now. Come on, let's go somewhere place else. What do you want to do? Yeah, let's go home. Uh, again, I don't think there's anything left for us to do. I should bring someone there sometime. Yeah, I think everything else is maxed out. I guess we're going home. Rest until the evening. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to do. See ya, soldier. I don't think there's any games to play, right? Let's play a game. Oh, there is one. Punch out! <laughs> Retro boxing game playing could give you the charm of a challenger. I love the parody name. Okay. Let's start up Punch Out. Well, By the way, have you read the Secret Technique book? Sure. Makes sense uh, since you've learned how to. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Oh. Huh? This is a gym? Oh, and there's a weird old guy standing over there. How are you feeling? I'll be responsible for training you today. Listen closely to what I've got to tell you. We'll start today by reviewing the basics. Oh, so there's a practice stage before you get to the real action. First up is Sway. You'll need to predict your opponent's attacks and dodge them. Now sway around my attack, then smack me with a counter punch. Here we go. Use control pad to mash the arrows on screen within the time limit. Then press X to punch. Easy. <laughs> Good job, you moved well. Remember how to do that. Next up is the Flurry. Give me some fast consecutive hits. A small guy like you is gonna have to focus on quick attacks over heavy punching or over heavy hitting punches. Now aim at my glove and hit. Press X enough times before the time runs out. Oh. <laughs> Alright, good job. Make sure you keep working at it though. This way to dodge attacks and use the opportunity to unleash a brutal flurry of punches. That's gonna be your golden combo. Alright, now give me a sway and a flurry in combination. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Good work, you're in incredible shape. You're in incredible shape. Hope you do this in your matches too. So your technique book helped, huh? You're always looking for the most efficient thing, ways to do things. Blah 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 blah. Okay, cool. Pretty much doing it just to get the uh, the code on the back of the game. Get my accessory. Hey you, are you sleeping? No, it's fine. Let him sleep. Students are busy. It's normal to be tired. 
I'm a little sleepy myself. I was playing pretend featherman with my grandchild uh, yesterday, and I got a little too invested. What? You all don't know featherman? That's a Sentai series that teaches you about justice. We'll watch it in class someday. Speaking of which, uh, did you know the concept of justice is different in Western culture and Eastern culture? Dream, look at this. What? This is a statue of the goddess Themis. She's commonly referred to as the god of justice. She holds a set of scales and a sword, and she's stepping on something. Do you know what she's stepping on? A snake. I already know. This is it. Wonderful, that's correct. A lot of stories tend to paint snakes as a symbol of sin or some kind of agent of evil. In Western culture, justice tends to be about enforcing the rules. If you want everyone to live in harmony, rules are absolutely necessary. So anyone who disrupts those rules might just end up like this snake. Wow, really? Dreamkun seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Well, you must be really smart to be able to ask a question like that. More like I've seen that symbol a lot of times. Eastern culture, on the other hand, views justice more like acting and thinking ethically. This exists in the individual. In other words, all humans have their own sense of justice. It's not an easy way to live, but I'm sure you'll all be fine. Oh, time's almost up, so how about your homework? None for today, get some rest, but make sure you're awake for the next class, alright? Wish your was really... I'm getting the shivers. <laughs> he is a nice guy. Uh, again, it's. Let's see what's here. Everybody's here. Anne's here too. Um. Oh, Futaba, everyone's here today. I can't hang out with all of you. <laughs> There's too many of you. Um. Let's just hang out with somebody at school. Let's go with Yuji, since he's been asking for a while. I think Anne was first? I don't remember actually. Alright, that's... Yo, James, uh... Hey, you got some time right now? There's something I need to tell you. Otherwise, I mean, it's just gotta keep weighing me down. Sounds like Ryuji has something important he wants to tell me. Ryuji looks pretty serious, so what do you plan on doing today? Do you want to hang out with Ryuji? Yep. Sorry Sorry if I'm taking you away from anything. Let's go, dude. It's like too bad I can't have time. Right, there's no time to hang out with everybody at the same time. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> oh nice poster. That looks like Kyrie from, uh, I'm about to say Star Ocean, but, uh, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> so, uh, man, how do I say this? Hey, Gray, you're back. I came back to quickly say something regarding the game stuff we talked about earlier. I'd like to release Code Drivers as a duology game. Hmm. A one and two, three and four. Huh, interesting. So, kind of like, uh, like Pokemon, where there's you no know, red and blue, and so on and so forth. Though I'm assuming it's like consecutive, so it's not quite that, right? <laughs> so it just comes in pairs. Like the first game will come with the second game. That'd be interesting. I don't think I've actually heard of something like that before. Is there any other examples of games that have done that? I'm kind of curious, actually. I don't remember if there's any games like that. Because usually yeah, they come out sequ sequentially. And then if the good, the first game does good, then, you know, they can go back and make it the second game, and so on and so forth. Hmm, why do this here? Yeah, why are we in your room, Ryuji? <laughs> I'm flat, Ryuji, but I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Well, there's something I want to talk about, and since we're bros and all, I figured I'll just invite you over. Oh, my bad, man. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm sorry. I know I gotta apologize to you. Uh, about what? Uh, Lang uh, Langrisser 1 and 2 came out as a remaster on Switch a year ago or so. Nice. That'd be cool. That wouldn't be, like, good to do that later on? Like, when you've come more established? So yeah, just do like one, and then eventually two. So maybe even do like a yearly thing, I guess. Yearly releases. I guess it also depends on uh, your progress. 
and such. Uh, like, I'm getting to it. Give me a sec. Laugh it up. But I get pretty serious, or I get pretty nervous about talking through this shit. It's like, you know how things have been for me? From the new year to a little while ago? How Dr. Maruki gave me a dream life, and I just kind of went with it? We basically spent last year together, and you supported me through a bunch of personal shit, too. I even told you I'd help uh, whenever you needed it, and now, well... <laughs> Even I know I really let you down. Um, but you did help me. Nah, that was a little late. You'd already figured everything out. New from the start, right? I mean, sure. I could fight with the rest of the team like nothing's wrong. But I don't know. It feels like... Uh, it feels like that'd be betraying all the stuff we built up together. Either way, I can't just let this go. I've gotta settle things somehow. So watch this. Help. Oh. Oh. <laughs> just some squats, apology squats, but not gonna stop till you say I can. Can't forgive myself unless I do this. Can't believe how lame I was. A shitty thing to do. Uh, you can stop. This is a little weird. That's the Ryuji I know. Heck yeah. <laughs> the hell's that supposed to mean? There. I can't think and flex at the same time. <laughs> Should've figured that this would be pointless. I tried to think of something good, but even I know I'm dumb. <laughs> Jeez. So I I really wanted to keep going with the track team. Hope I could keep going, uh, maybe get a scholarship and be a star athlete in college. Make life easier for my mom. And yeah, the doc's big dream world uh, would have made that happen. Still. I don't know. When I think about it, I realize maybe it isn't that hard of a decision. I went through all that bad shit. Um, got wrapped up in hating Kamoshida. Turned into, into some delinquent. I almost got the both of us expelled. Started hanging out with An and Mishima more. And even had my big conversation with Nakauka and Takeishi. Even if they beat the crap out of me. <laughs> but that's all part of my life. I still owe, I owe that, you know? It was a real shit show sometimes, but I came out of everything stronger. I'm here because I beat my problems. I can't just pretend they never happened. Wouldn't be right. You've really matured, and that's why you woke up. Yeah, and that's why I'll stick with the reality I fought for. The one where we went through all our shit together. That's where I belong. Yeah. Let's right, see what Ryuji's. Fusion persona is. It's like a monkey king. <laughs> He's with Captain Kid. Become. I knew it. <laughs> monkey on a boat. Let's just go on a boat. I guess it's like a. Yeah, it's like a. <laughs> surfboard yacht. I don't know. <laughs> oh, what the hell, man. Didn't know I still had this much power in me. Not bad. Ryuji's persona, Saiten Taise, has transformed into William. <laughs> oh, what? It's an interesting name. William. Man, I feel way better now that I finally spilled my guts. Maybe tonight I'll finally get some sleep. Uh, you're a simple guy, Ryuji. Yeah. You know it better than stopping and overthinking everything. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Uh, I guess I got. I, I guess I just dragged you over here to listen to me whine. Look, I know sometimes I'm a real pain in the ass, but from now on, I'm gonna run with everything I've got. <laughs> so all you gotta do is count on me, James. See ya. Thanks for coming over today. See you around. That's a lot of strength. Fighting spirits. What's this? Next physical attack deals over double damage. Ooh, it's all allies. That's charge. That's better than charge. Of course. It's a high SP cost, but I pretty much won't be using SP. Doesn't even say how much SP he has. Thankfully, I can probably get rid of, rid of Electric Break, actually, but I think I'll keep Electric Break. So I don't really have that many Elemental Break moves, so maybe this might be a good one to keep. Uh, yeah. I think. There's really nothing else. Yeah, that's fine. 
Uh, you wish Language Series 3 and 4 would get remastered, be brought out to the West? Maybe. I'm sure they'll work on it. Say they did the first and second one, they'll definitely do the next next ones after. My shoulder's so stiff, I hope it's not my old age. Oh no, not the old age. Yeah, I have to look into those games. Again, there's just so many games. <laughs> I don't have time to play them all. I guess some of them I should probably play on my own, but still. I'll be willing as the first name up Captain Kid. Oh, nice. What if they said that in the, the book of Captain Kid? I just totally didn't remember. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this thing. Oh. Our opponent's here. The fight's about to start. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes one of our most skilled boxers, Graham Cracker Joe. <laughs> oh, what? He might be small, but don't underestimate him. His quick movements will decimate you. I'm here with you. Just remember what we practiced. Don't lose. And right as the bell rings, Joe comes out aggressive. Don't let him shake you up. Persevere and figure out what his weakness is. How are you supposed to do that? Wait, it looks like his form loosens up after he goes on the offensive. What are you trying, or what are you running around for? Are you trying to, oh, I get it. You're on the right track. Sway to avoid his attacks. Except they're gonna be the same moves. The challenger lands an impressive counter in Joe Valters. Good, good, now go for the blurry. Easy. What an intense string of punches. Joe goes down. All right, the count's starting. I hope he doesn't get up. Three, four. Oh, Joe's back up. You've got him on his heels. Keep up your footwork. Now give him a flurry. What a combo. Joe goes down. Please don't get up. Eight, nine, ten. Graham Joe has crumbled. Our challenger wins. <laughs> nice bout. I expected nothing less about her out of my apprentice. Nice. Yes. You managed to win your first match by a hair. The secret t technique book helped, huh? You're always looking at the most efficient things to do. Blah blah blah. blah. Right, so I'm gonna go to bed. I right, try to think. We have Anne, Yusuke, Haru, and Futaba. So four people left, and there's plenty of time, I believe, before go time. I think we still have like ten days, maybe more than ten. Might idle? No, not me. My mom lets me play games. Uh, we even play them together. I'm not going to get a facelift. I like my face. <laughs> oh, I thought you said your nose was... Sorry, never mind. I don't mind the pay as long as I can uh, buy my trading cards. Oh, what? Interesting. Hmm. Oh, 12 days left. Oh, yes, yeah, so we have 12 days. Well, then. Asian Islander FOB. Asian Dream Hunter. Something my... Astro... <laughs> Wait. Australian brother, <laughs> how's it going? How are you today? And uh, where are you from? <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not quite sure. Do I know what Australian means? Base. <laughs> I fobbed up. A what? Fobbed up. I need to see what that means. Madagascar. That's interesting. I actually never seen that word before. Uh, Austronesian. It's pronounced like Indonesian or Polynesian. Oh, okay. Austronesian. I see. Cool, cool. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we're playing uh, Persona 5. Sunfire Royal. We're actually in the final like dungeon of Royal. See, so, Austronesians are people, are people, language, and culture who are Taiwanese, Southeast Asian, Pacific Islanders, and Madagascar. You're Vietnam, half Samoan, so we Austro. Nice, cool. I never heard that before. That's really cool. I'm doing good, me. I'm doing pretty good myself, just chilling. I've been, uh, I was just gaming all day, really. Um, earlier today I was 
play Genshin, Star Rail. I also played some Resident Evil 4, <laughs> all off stream. Just doing my thing. Um, I'm actually doing a somewhat challenge run in a Resident Evil 4 remake. It's the one where you try to do professional um, without using bonus weapons. Though I think it wants me to get S plus, but I don't think I can make any time unless I. I guess if I start using rocket launchers for everything, maybe <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Um, because it's pretty much my fifth playthrough of that game, so I'm like super rich and all that, so... Um... Yeah. Um, what kind of uh, games do you play? Yeah, I mainly play uh, JRPGs on screen on stream. I actually played a bunch of Final Fantasy over this, this uh, past year. Um... I actually played through the 13 trilogy for like the third time. <laughs> And uh, played Final Fantasy 16 that came out this year. I did not get the DLC though. I think that dropped like last week, but I haven't gotten around to playing it uh, because I'm trying to finish Persona 5. I don't know if I'll go back to play 16 right away and like the DLC. Um, I could, I guess, do a new game plus run and just play through the DLC at that point. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. I have a lot of games that should probably play. <laughs> you play NBA 2K, uh, Call of Duty, Batman, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Shredder's Revenge, nice. I think I have that on my wish list. I don't have Shredder's Revenge. Uh, I played through all the Arkham Batman games. Really good games. Um, I know they came out with, um, what else called? It's another Batman game per se, but it's not with Batman in it since he theoretically, or I guess technically, died. Which he did die, obviously, but you know, he retired. He probably went on to be in the Justice League, but um, I forgot what that game is called. It's like I want to say Arkham Knights, but I know uh, Batman Arkham Knight is its own game. Oh, Gotham Knights. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen anything about it, like any gameplay or anything. I just thought it would be really cool. Um, uh, but yeah, I actually have not played the uh, new Call of Duty that came out, nor did I play last year's Call of Duty. Because wait, is this year Call of Duty 2? Or like Modern Warfare 2 that came out, or is it Modern Warfare 3 that came out this year? I just totally... It's, Fell off the Call of Duty train after the uh, first Modern Warfare uh, reboot, I guess. Which was good. I played it. I didn't really do too much in the multiplayer like I normally would have, but. Oh, three south this year? Nice, nice. But yeah, I'm kind of curious how the storyline goes because I, I love the original Modern Warfare story. But the third Modern Warfare, like the original one, kind of like, I, th yeah, I was talking to my friend about that months ago, but I think we both feel like they kind of skipped out on a mission on the original more, more uh, Modern Warfare three. Pretty much between, I'm trying to remember, I think one of the characters passing and then them finding out where the main villain was hiding. I think there should have been like another mission in between that because <laughs> it kind of like time skipped it felt like. Um, but that, yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Um, I wish they made another ghost. Uh, Call of Duty Ghost 2 I guess because they let they made the first ghost end on a cliffhanger I believe. I don't know if they will uh, ever come back to that story at all. Um, I think the Black Ops franchise storyline kind of like got wacky. Um, but it's been a while since I played it, so. But either way. Kind of funny. This is your world now. Is that you following? I appreciate the follow. But yeah. It's funny because you know a lot of people who play Call of Duty kind of just play it for the multiplayer, and I'm pretty sure that's why Warzone is really good. But um, 
I don't know, I really I play games for story, <laughs> so Call of Duty having great stories was a nice treat. And there were times where I just replay just for the story, just to replay the campaign. Um, yeah, I heard this year's or this Call of Duty's uh, campaign is not good, if even like existent, I don't know. I, I just heard bad news <laughs> about the campaign. Not sure what it is like, but I don't know. It, it costs too much to buy. Because <laughs> I pretty much will only play it for its campaign. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's continue on. Oh, what's going on today? I'm going to Mementos. Sorry, <laughs> Makoto. Let's see again. We're in the end game, And... I'm practically dragging out what's going on now. Let's see what this TV is trying to sell us. A bunch of stuff we don't need, huh? Sweet delight set. Um, uh, pretty sure it's not gonna be that good. Um, hey, hey. Hmm. They're both not good. I'm gonna buy this one. Yeah, story or, yeah, story wise in this game right now, we're stuck in a alternate reality. Because the well, final big bad guy kind of determined that um, we should all live in his perfect utopia <laughs> against our wills. Um, he has good intentions. Uh, he's a psychology counselor, but it's one of those things where like. He didn't necessarily ask permission, he kind of just did it, <laughs> which is kind of unethical, right? We still gotta have consent because, you know, as people might want things, but it doesn't mean you can just do it if they don't, like, give their consent, you know what I mean? So a lot of times people just like venting or like hoping and wishing, but they don't necessarily really want the actual change or outcome sometimes. Let's do it. Um, so yeah, our party is kind of fighting against that notion of him just taking our uh, somewhat free will, not quite free will. Oh, can I not max her out? Interesting. Wonder why. Um, maybe it just takes time. Because um, you can see some of these names are flashing white. Uh, that means their persona is about to um, evolve further. So in this game, everyone has their like persona, their true self. And over the course of the game, especially if we develop their character more, like um, character developments, uh, once they max out, they get a new evolved persona. And then here in the end game, uh, it evolves one more time. Um, I'm not quite sure who I should evolve. Yeah, uh, Sumeria is the one that we just maxed out her confidant rank, her relationship rank. And we're also actually romancing her. But uh, for some reason, she's not ready to, I guess, transcend to the next level. Which I guess it's like time gated. It kind of lets us do it for everybody else. Uh, let me hang out with Anne, I think. But let's go to the school first. Let's get to the rooftop. I believe my vegetables are ready. Yeah, I was saying earlier on stream that I want to play through Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, because I actually bought the PS5 bundle <laughs> with it. I uh, already, like, pre well, I don't think it was pre installed, I just got the code, game code for it, but. I feel like that should be the next game I play. So I think after I finish Persona 5, I will go ahead and do that. Good day. <laughs> I think I'll just get some more of these same thing. So I think I have plenty of sun tomatoes. I guess I can check my inventory real quick. 
I have so much stuff. Uh, where are my sun tomatoes at? I have four of them. I have so many of these. It's crazy. Alright, uh, I think we're hanging out with Anne today. It's underground mall. Oh, hey James, uh, thanks for coming. Can I ask for a minute of your Sorry, time? this is so sudden, but do you have some time to talk? There's something I really need to tell you. Are you free? Hilarious. Seems like Anne has hey, something hey. on her mind. Lady Anne looked troubled. So what do you think? Are you going to spend some time with Lady Anne? Yep. Do it. Thanks. Thanks, uh, then can you come with me? Yeah, back in my first playthrough, like four years ago or so, three, maybe three or four, I don't know. Uh, Sorry. We romanced Anne <laughs> at that point in time, but a uh, new wife who has entered. Uh, sorry, this is kind of sudden. I know it's cramped, but make yourself at home. I love how everyone just invites us into the room. Like, <laughs> like must we be in their room? Uh, why did we come here? <laughs> I have a girlfriend. I was kidding. I know why. <laughs> I just figured we got to know each other pretty well. So, hey, why not hang out at home? Or something. <laughs> oh, sorry. Actually, I wanted to give you a proper apologies for everything. You know, because I got caught up in the life Dr. Maruki made for me. That's in the past. I guess, but hey, even if you're okay with it, it's really been bothering me. Um. Honestly, I'm still trying to figure out what the right choice is. I mean, I'm not saying Dr. Maruki's reality is better or anything. But I can't stop thinking about Shiho, or how great her life could have been if things were like this. Do you regret your choice? No, not at all. I know this isn't actually reality. I haven't been happy, sure, but it would have would have been real. It wouldn't have been real. Shiho was still moving forward, even after everything she's been through. She didn't lose hope. My strength came from her. That's why when Kamashita said he'd kill himself, I told him he couldn't run from it all. She didn't run away, so he can either. And if I took the easy way out now, I'd be letting Shiho down. Uh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're so kind, James. What? <laughs> kind of familiar, huh? Back when I finally broke down out of the Kamashita stuff. You listen to me like this too. You didn't know me at all, but you still listen to everything. I couldn't figure you out. I figured you out. Uh, like, I kept thinking, what is this guy's deal? Not only that, but you helped me with Shiho and my modeling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're too nice for your own good. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I think in real life I am. I am, actually. My bad. Uh, we're already dating Sumire, so let's keep it. <laughs> no, no, I should be apologizing. I'm actually really grateful, but that kind of makes me feel even worse about all this. I'll give it a go. I'm never going to lose my way again. From now on, I'm going to face reality. For me, for Shiho, and for you. Nice, and now we get to see her. Persona's final fusion. It's kind of cool because uh, throughout the whole game, we fuse Personas together to make better Personas. So we actually get to see you know, each character each teammate do their own fusions. But, wow. It's KDA! <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you think... Is this my power? I can't believe it. All right. uh, Anne's persona, Kate, has transformed into Celestine. Nice. Okay! <laughs> okay, I'm ready to move on. Thank you for everything. I promise, I'm gonna do even better from here on out. Bye! Alright, I'll see you later. Nice, what move are we gonna get? High energy. Next magic attack will do double. Nice, so that's better than concentrate. I think it is definitely worth having it over concentrate, because again, it does it for the whole party, right? Yeah, for all allies. So yeah, that's... Too good to give up. May decrease SP cost of allies' magic attacks or magic skills by half. Nice. So this can get a uh, cut in half as well. Sweet. Yeah, we're gonna go through each person slowly or each 
uh, teammate slowly. Um, I think we just have Yusuke, Haru, Utaba, and Sumire. I don't know if we're gonna get the Akechi's. Or Akechi has one actually, because he's technically a sub villain, I guess. <laughs> if you want to think of him as like a Kaiba from Yu Gi Oh! He's like not a totally bad guy, but he's definitely not a team player <laughs> per se. I don't know. We'll see. Because it just might just be a uh, day gated, time gated. I just have to get close to the end. Alright, let's go ahead and play this game. Punch out. Or punch ouch. Punch the ouch. <laughs> you see how this the TV. Punch the ouch. <laughs> Alright. Let's use the tricks. Oh. Our opponent is here. The fight's about to start. Weighing in at 240 pounds with a record of 30 wins. 23 coming by way of knockouts and only 5 losses. Now entering the ring, Mo Bryson. <laughs> I'm here with you, kid. Remember your last fight. Now then. Hope you'll be okay. Just try not to lose too bad. Bryson comes out swinging. Our challenger is frozen with fear. Damn it, he's wearing down your defenses. Just keep looking for an opening. What does he mean by that? Wait. This guy takes large swings. You might be able to get him if you attack during his punch animation. Why are you letting your guard down? Wait, I see now. You're on the right track, but can you really pull this off? Match his timing and land an uppercut. Oh, that's new. Command. Our challenger lands a savage uppercut. Bryson stumbles back. That's your chance. Head in for the flurry. Ten. <laughs> Easy. What the? Burbid, uh, Flurry of Fists, Bryson goes down hard. All right, the count's starting. I hope he doesn't get up. One, two, oh, Bryson's back on his feet and ready to go. He's tough, all right. You're gonna have to give this your all. Another uppercut. Now finish him off with the Flurry. <laughs> and that's gonna be enough to take Bryson down. No way, he's still standing. He's on the ropes though. Skirt around him and go for a body blow. Oh, nice. A furious body blow from our intrepid challenger. It's just too much for Bryson to handle. He's collapsed. Yes, the count's starting again. Please don't get up this time. Eight, nine, ten. Bryson is down for the count. Our challenger wins. You did, kid. I always knew you had it in you. Nice. We nearly won. Nice. The secret technique book helped, huh? You're always looking for the most efficient ways to do things. I admire that about you. Nice. You beat Punch Out. Or Punch Ouch. The passion you showed during your fight was so cool. Nice. Very, very cool. Let's see. Right, it's supposed to be a code. So the manual says if you send in the password. You see, after the ending, you get a prize. This is a promotion from years ago, though. There's probably no point in doing it now. But I guess it won't hurt to write it down anyways. Maybe some antiques game stores are into that kind of thing. Yes. Nice. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can get through to the last couple characters here. I think it's like, again, three plus one or four characters. I went to the fishing pond last week. You know the one in Ichigaya? Oh, I didn't know about that. I take it you must like fishing then. Oh, you didn't know? Well, anyways, I was reeling them in with my usual technique, but suddenly I saw this monstrous fish's huge shadow. He would have been a worthy opponent at that size, but he got away. I made the right choice to go out there while it was snowing, even if it was cold. Hey, are you listening? Stop looking at your phone. Fishing in the snow? Uh, that takes some uh, willpower. You should try it sometime if you're feeling up to it. Hey. All right. Let's see. Any other characters to hang out with? Haru. Samiri. Well, we can't max her out right now, but we can hang with Haru. Nice. 
Yep. Uh, we're gonna hang out with Haru. Let's go to Haru. Nice. And just slowly getting through all these teammates. So and after this, we got Yusuke and Futaba. And then again, technically, Akechi and Sumire, but uh, maybe they don't have a final. I feel like they should, but they might not, might not have a final fusion. James, uh, what brings you here today? I came to see you. Um, you do you have some spare place? time right now? There's something I need to tell you. Is that okay? Seems like Haru has something on her mind. Hey, hey. Haru, what's the plan? Are you going to spend the day with Haru? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, then could we go to my place for today? I'll treat you to some delicious black tea. Just wait a moment while I get changed. Oh yeah, I'm I can just go into everyone's rooms. Sorry to call you out over or call you over out of the blue like this. Please feel free to make yourself at home. The room is beautiful. Yeah, it's really spiffy. Um. Oh, uh, there's nothing all that unusual in here. No need to look around like that. Oh, what? <laughs> That's like so... Spiffy. I need to speak with you about the situation, or rather, because of it. I feel I owe you an apology, James. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was just so useless. What's this all about? I'm so ashamed. Dr. Maruki crafted me a... What? Something. <laughs> Sakarine, Sacharine. Perfect new reality, and I accepted it without a second's pause. It was only because of you that I was able to find my own path. You were the one who gave me a future, and what did I do with it? I'm so pathetic. It's not your fault. You're so kind, James, but I'm afraid this doesn't feel like enough this time. I want to stand at your side through this, and I want to do it with pride. In truth, I did wish that my father was still alive. I wanted us to rebuild the company together. No, more than that, I wanted to save my father. But that's just not possible. No matter how important he was to me, he's gone now and I cannot bring him back. Surely, if, if I could just rewrite the past for my own benefit, it would be terribly selfish. And what about your happiness? Yes. Just because it made me happy doesn't mean it's right. Because what about next time? When I fail again or something goes wrong, do I simply get to erase that too? Knowing my father is gone, it's sad, and it hurts. But that pain is precisely what gave me strength and resolve. All of, the, or all of us went through so much together. I don't want to lose our struggles or the closeness we want through them. Mm. So I need you to understand that I'm determined to see this through. I won't run away anymore. I refuse Dr. Maruki's gift to us. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly, I'll choose our reality, the one I define through my own hardship, mistakes, and tears. Yeah, I was, I was kind of talking about earlier too, like... You know, it would be nice to just have, you know, the super happy ending, but you're gonna miss out on a bunch of other things when that happens. It's Milady, and... I forgot what her other persona's name is. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, so chic. She looks like a private eye or something. I don't know. <laughs> Is this my power? I see. So I can still fight harder. All right. Oh yeah, so that's the name. Haru's persona Astarte has transformed into Lucy. Actually, she does kind of remind me of like the TV show Lucy. Lucy. So I forgot. Is that his name or her name? I'm sorry I kept you for so long. That's all I wanted you to hear. From now on, I'll fight even harder to make up for all the ter or the trouble I've caused you. I'll be counting on you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can do anything. I will grow even stronger. I have to keep pressing forward for Father's sake too. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks again for coming today. Be careful on your way home. Oh yeah, cool customer. What was this to life all? Forms a barrier that reflects all attacks for all allies. Ooh, that is really good. Increase the allies' chance of being inflicted by size up by 50%. Mm. What's life all good with? Technically, Heat Riser. Um, I think having both gun 
boosts is good, so I'll keep that. Maybe not. Maybe getting rid of Psy Amp actually might be the play here. Yeah, I think so actually. So I can just use my character to do heavy side damage. Uh, if anything, side damage would just be for the um. The technical that could happen. Let's see, maybe Siam can go. So yeah, severe plus amp and boost is pretty nice. 75% boost. And again, I don't think I really need this. She'll just pretty much be a buffer. Game for you. Nice. Oh. Right, let's uh, go to Aki. Aki Hababa. <laughs> Iki Habara. Let's get this code. Punch Bay Edge. Hey! hey. hey, hey. Or what amp it gives us. Maybe a physical amp? Which I don't think they have. Anything like that. Oh, you evade fire. Interesting. It's a very random thing to give me. I'll take it though. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done with things to do. Here. Hey, hey. I'm kind of curious, actually. I'm gonna go in here. I haven't been in here before. And again, there's nothing else to do, so I might as well just mess around. Mess around and find out. That was pretty here. It's kind of cute in a glowing way. <laughs> it's. Welcome home, Master. I'm Clara, your clumsy maid. Oh, Master, is this your first time here? Yes. I'm so happy you came. This is your home, so please relax. Oopsies, I almost forgot to inform my first time visitor. How clumsy of me. We offer stamp cards here. If you collect 20 stamps, you get a special item from us. Uh, you get one stamp per thousand yen spent. It would make me so happy if you collect a lot of them. Soldier or to be. Are we in there? Maybe too much for a clumsy maid. Comes a free ketchup. That's fine. Try to get try to get this twenty stamps. So I'm curious what the special item is. This is pretty overwhelming. All the pink hurts my eyes. <laughs> Here I go. Now I will start drawing with sincerity on your omelet. Let's see. What should I write? Oh, what? She wrote nothing. That. <laughs> That's why she's clumsy. It's okay. I'm sorry, Master. I was trying to write the pain of separation. Oh, what? what did you say? Why did she pick that? <laughs> Master, I tried my best. Would you please forgive me? Uh, it's fine. Wow, Master, you're so kind. You're so amazing. I love you so much. I'll be your humble mate for the rest of eternity. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're going too easy on her, but I guess you learned how to be tolerant. Well, that's it. <laughs> Just one. I'm already maxed out, so it doesn't matter, but... Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> that sure was unique. Either way, I think you learned how to get people to like you. Oh, okay. So this could be, uh, again, fast track to maxing out the kindness if I haven't done that already, or a charm, I should say. Master, I'm sorry for messing up today, but it really is nice having as kind of master as you. I don't know why that stopped me a little bit. Since it's your first visit, I'll give you a stamp card. Heck yeah. See. Every Saturday is our maid day where you get up to four additional stamps. I highly recommend you visit us then. 
Today you get five, leaving you with a total of five stamps. Have an amazing rest of your day, Master, and I'll be waiting patiently for your next visit. I'm really curious on what we're gonna get from her. I think we're gonna come back every day <laughs> until we get it. Alright. <sighs> so cramped on all these fluffy clothes. Now for today's train news. Cold wave is expected to accompany snowfall in Tokyo. It is likely that a large cold wave will hit the Kanto region. Companies with high employee satisfaction on the rise. Many workers have provided very positive responses. Crime rate reaches a record-breaking low. Number of incidents is down by more than half compared to next year to last year. Snow. <laughs> I can't even make the burr sound. <laughs> It's gotten really cold lately. <laughs> Unlike here, you know, where I am. Hot as crap. Well, it's not that hot, but it's pretty hot for this time of year. Morning, Morning it's another cold day. Hey. You know, the public's been acting kind of weird lately, huh? You know, the people around me are talking differently now, or they're really weirdly optimistic. It's the same thing in town, too. Everyone seems kind of restless. And this is part of Dr. Maruki's power too, isn't it? Mm, it's possible. Uh, yeah, I guess it hasn't happened to everyone yet. But if we don't change Dr. Maruki's heart by the deadline, we're not even going to realize that something's wrong anymore. We have to win, no matter what. No matter what. I'm gonna go through school. Have you heard? I was talking to my friends from overseas recently. They keep introducing me to new slang I've never heard of. Well, English slang is constantly evolving with the times. Textbook English is more static. It's so lame. But sometimes you can work out the meanings behind slang through context clues. Some are just natural extensions of English language constructs that have already been in place for years. Others might combine normal words or use more common phrases in new or unusual ways. Take thirsty, for instance. Ordinarily, it, see, er, it describes a need for a drink. That's a pretty serious need, right? But as slang, it describes someone who's a little too desperate, like a boy who won't stop asking you out. <laughs> oh, and hangry, just er, that's when you're so hungry it puts you on edge and everything makes you mad. I need an answer. So here's the test, Mr. Green. You know, I don't think I've ever truly been hangry before. I think if I get too hungry, I kind of just like power down. <laughs> but yeah, uh, would you say you're feeling a little salty? What would salty mean if in the uh, mean if used in the slang sense? Um... All right, I'll help. Uh, so we need to figure out what salty means in the slang sense. Maybe there are clues in words like it. You can call someone sweet, right? What does that mean when describing a person? Uh, kind-hearted. Sickening. Yeah, you're right, and it uh, has a pretty positive connotation. So what kind of connotation would Salty have in that context? Tasty. No, it's negative. Yeah, I think so too. After all, people only describe food as salty when the salt overpowers everything else. So if it's a negative connotation, then it'd have to mean uh, someone's feeling bad somehow. And it's probably something you can say about yourself or other people. So with that all in mind, salty probably means resentful. <laughs> salty is just salty, man. It's just salty. Yeah, I think so too. It makes me think of someone who's ready to pick a fight, you know? So if you call someone salty, that probably means they're uh, angry or resentful. <laughs> that was a close one. A rough one. Excellent. Yes, it means you resent something. Other flavor-based descriptors apply to people too, uh, like sweet or sour. Slang can be rooted in many origins, common words, acronyms, and of course, what? <laughs> Portmantus? Pimentos? I don't know. Have you ever heard of the word a frenemy? It's a bad word. <laughs> a friend and enemy. Think uh, something like a rival or an enemy who acts friendly with you. Catchy. <laughs> That's pretty smart. I didn't expect that. Yeah, pretty much a catchy's our friend of me. He wants to kill us, but he won't. Because he can't. <laughs> so, more fun than a stuffy old standard English, right? But it's good to learn the rules before you break them. If anyone wants to learn some extra slang vocab, I would be positively psyched to offer some bonus lessons. 
Frenemies, huh? I've had enough of backstabbing. <laughs> yeah. No more, Kechi. No more. Alright, who's up next? Let's go to Mementos. No Mementos. So, Riji, all of them are done. Yusuke, next. Yeah, I wonder if we just can't max out Samire, which kind of sad, but is what it is. Uh, so, yeah, Yusuke. 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 Is that a walkway? I think it's the walkway. Yeah. Hi. Hi. What brings you here? We're we'll gonna our deal. I see. Mm, duplicate. I don't think I have anything that's like worth making. It's the silly part. Yeah, all these are like level two or three. The magics. Yeah. I might as well do it. Another high counter for fun. Mm, it doesn't really matter. Just another amp. Absolutely. Beautifully executed. All right, Yusuke. I came to see you, Yusuke. If I may, uh, can I ask you, or ask for some of your time right now? There's something I must tell you, if I am to continue onward. Sounds like Yusuke has something on his mind. Hey, hey. Yusuke, what's the plan? Are you going to spend the day with Yusuke? Yeah. I'm in your debt. My thanks. Please, come with me. You have my thanks. I know my call was rather sudden. I can only apologize. Um, we've already decided we're going to oppose Dr. Maruki, so I know it's far too late to say anything, but, uh, what's wrong? You can't even look at me? <laughs> I just can't keep averting my eyes from the truth. I betrayed you, and all we stand for. How can I pretend I'm still worthy of our lofty ideals, or your support? I'm, I'm an utterly hopeless fool. Where's this coming from? Nah, you're just kind of wicked. Yeah, where's this coming from? Forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. Yes. You gave me my strength. You taught me to face the truth without fear. That strength, that anger is how I rose up against Madarame. I saw him for the fraud he was and I freed myself from his lies. And just look at what I've become. Dr. Maruki gave me a false security. He showed me a life spun from my deepest desires. And fool that I am. I welcomed it. What indiscriminable humiliation. How could I be such a detestable, narrow-minded sheep of a man? To so calm down, bro. <laughs> I cannot. This is no time for calm. And you, you of all people deserve to shame me. But still, you say nothing. I betrayed you. I've spat on the very principles of art. And more than that, I have spat on all that uh, you did to help me find my answers. I'm nothing. Not even worth the empty words I spoke. I can't even bring myself to look at you in the eye. Forgive me, James. Such is the human art. Isn't there beauty in it? <laughs> Impossible. Impossible? What human beauty could possibly be buried in the hellscape of humiliation? No, I refuse to accept it. It would be nothing but an excuse for my failure. I was a slave to my hubris all along. How did I even ever believe the meaning of true beauty was within my grasp? I was just a fool, lost in my dreams. So, you're giving up? Do you mean giving up? James, I... I can only apologize. You've saved me from repeating my stakes once more. Compared to the grand legacy of my mother's art, I am still but a chick toddling in her shadow as she, she sure, 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 sure. 
I dreamed of flying at her side, yet for all my leaps of faith, I only plummeted from my nest again and again. What I needed was a teacher to grasp the beauty of my mother's work. I needed a guiding hand to offer criticism and validation as I earned it. But why was I so convinced that my teacher must be someone in the art world? After all, I'm a friend like you. <laughs> And our talks together have already led me to so many beautiful revelations. You're gripping kinda hard. <laughs> my apologies, I got ahead of myself. But my point stands. I believe there is still a great deal I can learn from you. Indeed. And if that's true, then I found my teacher, and with him, the part to truly grasp my mother's art. I will not lose my way again. Let us walk that path together. Noise. No, yeah. I'm pretty sure those who, you know, played the originals definitely, like, you know, has a really nice feel. <laughs> He's a Yakuza persona, dude. Or whatever. Those shoes. I see. Um, but yeah, it's these, like, extra evolutions or whatever of everyone's persona it's probably very you know nostalgic and stuff um of course i did play it you know back in like uh i think 2016. Uh, i think i pair it with me playing final fantasy 15. that's why i played persona 5 uh, the original um i don't think i maxed out everyone's confidant rank though but Either way, uh, again, just seeing them evolve again, it's really, you know, feels nice. <laughs> it feels good. I see, so this is our, er, uh, so this power is both my core and my essence. All right. Use case persona Kamu Susano oh, <laughs> has transformed into Goro Kichi. Kind of reminds me of Goro Majima <laughs> from Yakuza. Uh, I love that game. Games, this reality of ideals and perfections it's not wholly wrong truly there are parts of it i find most painfully beautiful however you have helped me see clearly again i believe i wish to return to our own reality this is me far better to paint uh, with both ugliness and beauty upon my palette that's good use i know <laughs> indeed let's return to our true home to the reality where i discovered true beauty <laughs> and hunger. Uh, but first, you know what that uh, they say about fighting on an empty stomach? That reminds me. I haven't even offered you any tea yet. And you brought some kind of treat with you too, didn't you? Is it a sweet bean jelly? Or maybe a baked dessert like Dora Yaka? <laughs> Yaka? Yaki? Dora Yaki? Or perhaps you brought... <laughs> I'm in your debt. Thank you for spending all this time with me. See you again soon. That's what move do we get here? Oh, that's an interesting move name. Increases. Oh, this is like down reply. Nice. Uh, definitely put it over this. Because that's very single targeting or whatever. Uh, I technically don't even need this anymore since I have this. Of course, it uses a turn to you know use it, but. Might as well. I can give him something else, maybe like an ice amp. Yeah, my matching's kind of mediocre. But nice. Yeah, I'll think about what I want to give everybody. Thought as much. We might come back soon. Um, and there's really nothing that we can do. Oh yeah, we're going to go back to the cat. Or not the cat. Cafe. The maid cafe. And lucky. Naki Habara. What's the main cap? I should probably save. It's been a while since I saved. Let's do it. Such a long. Oh yeah, I think I want to make a definitive save file in case I want to f complete the compendium. So maybe after I meet with everybody. So I think Futaba is our last one. Um. 
Yes. Get all these stamps. But yeah, once I... Maybe so I can go to... I guess Mementos. Then, uh... That'll be my definitive save file. Well, the whole master. And so will your order be. Same thing. What if it's the same, like... Show. <laughs> Unless you did last time. Can it be that you're actually starting to like this place? Here I go. Let's see. She gonna do the same thing. Just mess up. Yep, she did. Oh, sorry about that. Retributive justice. Or what? What did you say? <laughs> yeah, it's a really interesting phrase she wanted to put on our omelet. Go fix it. Let's be mean. Let's see what happens. Uh, I knew it very well, Master. Hey! Being strict even to a cute maid, huh? You got some real guts! Oh, interesting. That just changes which one uh, it increases. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. Either way, I think you learn how to keep people like you. Nice. So if you wanted to, like, you know, upgrade one of the other stats, then yeah. I'm sorry for messing up today, but your strictness showed how reliable you really are, Master. Take care. <laughs> I don't remember if there's another place we could try out, like in um, I forgot the, what the place is called, but one of the other cities, the city with the the bar and Shall we begin? reporter lady and fortune girl. I don't, there's an, I don't think there's another place we can go there to. I don't know. Check out. Well, then let's begin class. We'll start with a summary of the previous lesson. Oh. Well. I'm gonna go ahead and skip. Actually, we can read the fisherman guide for fun. Oh, and that. Was there another fisher? Oh, there it is. Essence of fishing. On the guts to face death. I don't need to gain guts. I want this. I never thought you'd be a way to tell different fish types of the rubber pot underwater. Hm. All right. You can now use third eye. Mm. Oh, to figure out which one doesn't have the winter types. Well, too late for all that. We are done fishing. We all done fishing. That's odd. Okay. Hopefully we can hang out with Putaba. Snow's coming tomorrow. Think we'll get a real blizzard? Who knows? You really see any or ever see heavy snow in Tokyo. I predict heavy snowfall. But it's gonna be wet snow, so it won't really pile up much. Sources, uh, some guy on TV. Oh no, my flower beds. I should go check on them. I'm sure they'll be fine. But if you need help with them, uh, I'll do what I can. Indeed, Ryuji can, as well. Man, you can't just volunteer me. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't, though. I, you need any heavy lifting done. I'm your guy. <laughs> Actually, it's if the snow's gonna be that bad, uh, you think it might have some effect on the metaverse, too? You might as well keep it in mind uh, when we plan for tomorrow. Alright, hopefully we can hang with Futaba. Uh, can I go to the roof? Or are the vegetables ready? Are the vegetables ready? Let me check. Vegetables. Vegetables. Good day. I want to see the vegetables. Yep, nice. Uh, let me actually grow the other. I think I did though, didn't I? Just some sun tomatoes. I think I have enough of the other ones. All right. Mm, who wants to hang out with me today? Five days. Everyone, it's like, let's go to Mementos. I'm like, never. Nice, the futa was ready. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Good. Usually's good. What about the mirror? Yeah, she's not flashing white. 
wonder why. I wonder if she's even able to be upgraded all the way. Got for little lock. I feel like she should be, but I don't know. Oh, James, uh, you Can got some you time right now? There's something I want to talk to you about. It's really important. It sounds like Futaba has something important to tell me. Hey, hey. This seems serious. What are you going to do? Do you want to spend some time with Futaba? Yeah. Thanks, uh, then come to my r r Actually, hold on. Can you come a bit later, James? I'll leave my door open, so just come in. Futaba quickly went home. Oh, what? She should be good now. <laughs> James? You can come in. <laughs> this again. Sorry. Sorry for calling you over. Uh, what's with the mask? Um, um <laughs> there's something I've been wanting to talk to you about. So... I think this mask is like, you know, a caricature, obviously, but of a character in Persona 4, I believe it was that one shopkeeper lady, if I remember correctly. Uh, is it hard to talk about? Mm. <laughs> it's about you and me. I made a promise to help you whenever you were in trouble, for your sake and for mine. But now I... But you're helping now. Yeah, I'm gonna help us fight back. I'm part of the Phantom Thieves, right? I feel the same way as everyone else. I mean, yeah, I don't wanna accept this reality. That's all that's all still true, but I know that uh, I know this isn't real. I figured that out a while ago, but I thought if I got to see my mom again, then it was okay. I'm so selfish. I was just thinking about what I wanted. You're mad, I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not mad. Yeah, I wasn't mad to begin with. Don't lie to me. You're mad at me. You have to be. Why wouldn't you be? I betrayed you. Don't you get that? You didn't betray me. I'm sorry. I guess I'm still a little freaked out. This isn't even what I want to talk about. There's something else I wanted to uh, you to hear anyway. Can I, um, is it cool if I say it? Sure. So, like, Dr. Maruki's reality isn't totally 100% illusion, right? Mm, as far as I understand it. Well, maybe I'll never know for sure, but if it is true, then I really did get to see my mom again. She was so nice. Mm, you're really a lot like her. I'm glad you got to see her. Oh, so sad though. Yes. Me too. But I guess I won't get to stay with her. It's kind of sad because you know, like in spoilers for Persona 4, but uh, one of the characters in there also like lost their mother, and that was like one of the driving forces of a lot of things. And they kind of like somewhat reused that he here with Futaba, but yeah. But I guess I won't get to stay with her. No. Well, I'm. I know. I mean. I know now that this is all in my head, but I wanted to talk with her more. Go on shopping trips and stuff. I don't know, just... I wish I had more time with her. But still, like... I can't just live totally dependent on Dr. Maruki's reality, right? Even if I won't get to see my mom anymore. If I can manage to keep working hard and moving forward, like I was doing in our reality, then I... I think she'd be proud of me. Couldn't be putting better myself. <laughs> yeah, um, thanks. So that's what I'm gonna do. If mom could see that I was working hard, being a part of the group, uh, I think she'd be really happy for me. I agree. Yes. I've been thinking really hard lately, uh, wondering how I want mom to see me. And I think I figured it out. I want to be someone who keeps looking ahead. Someone who never stops improving. This time, I'll do what I can to protect you. And everyone else too. So let's uh, go take back our own reality. The reality where we can beat anything the world throws at us, as long as we have each other. The reality my mom gave me. Nice. It's so wholesome, like just going through you know, each teammate and having them 
you know, gain their resolve once more and then again evolve. What do we got here? Ooh, that actually reminds me of uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3. Like some of the temples and stuff. <laughs> What's this power? I didn't know I still had all this in me. All right. Nice. Futaba's persona, Prometheus, has transformed into Al Azip. I wonder what her new move's gonna be. Thanks. Thanks for listening to all that. I feel a lot better now. Master Futaba has reached a full recovery. Get ready for perfect navigation, no matter what we're up against. A bold claim, Master Futaba. <laughs> How's that? What can I say? I'm my mom's daughter. I'll be pestering you a lot more from now on. So sorry in advance and thanks. <laughs> See you later. Later. Oh, we got infinite scheme, ultimate support. Ultimate support, effective strengthening slash healing all allies may activate in battle. Nice. So I guess it just increases the chance of her, you know, giving that support. Uh, all attacks may defeat all foes and fully restore HP to all allies. Ooh. Very useful. And I, I understand why they, you get all these end game, like post game, pretty much. Because if we had these skills <laughs> throughout the game, it would be too OP. Let me see. Back up. Uh, yeah, yeah, these are too good. Treasure skipper analysis. Confirm with affinities. Yeah, previously attack. Nice. Okay. Uh, so again, I don't know if we will get a chance to hang with Akechi and whatnot. We find if all this time Akechi was available to meet at this place. Yeah, because we normally we meet him here, but again, he's not playing nice with us. Oh, you have to go back to the uh, cafe. Made cafe. I do want to see what we get after we uh, get all the stamps. Like, what's the item? <laughs> Sadly, I have enough stamps already. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I should speed this up a little bit. Love pancake. Ooh, hot tea. Absolutely. Yeah, let's see. What word is she gonna get for us this time? Sorry about that. Earth shattering. <laughs> Really? What did you say? <laughs> Silly. Uh, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, kindness. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm actually not sure why we get charm from coming here. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense, actually. <laughs> but I'll take it. Alright. Hey! Oh, we got a book. Heck yeah, thanks to that book, we can blah blah blah. Yep. We don't really need guts, but heart without essence is the essence or hesitance is the essence of Bushido. Mm. Learning about the spirit of the samurai seems useful, but this book looks difficult. You still got time to read. Let's go a little bit further. A heart that never backs down is the secret to Bushido. You know, when I think of samurai and stuff, I think of Aaron from Final Fantasy X. Let's see, he was a samurai class, more or less. Seems like you're getting through that book quickly, that in Guide on Speed really really helped. Well, how far did you get? You still got a portion of it left. Seems like you still got some pages left, uh, you should continue some other time. Alright. Yeah, I might try to fill out the compendium next time. But again, we'll see. Morning! Morning! Holy crap, this uh, snow is crazy. It's a reason, but exciting at the same time. Say, so you think there's been some kind of change mementos too? Uh, I have to go get ready. Hmm. Well, let's check it out after you're ready. Come on, sound good. Promise me you'll think about it. All right, man. Yeah, I think that might just be all the characters we can, you know, a final send their personas. But we'll oh, see. Yeah. Wonder how those vegetables on the roof are doing. They're doing fine. Somebody else asked Nicole Mementos. <laughs> They're just like, let's go, Mementos, go, go. You wanna go, Mementos? I've been thinking about what Lavenza said. Uh, I think we should check for ourselves. 
Yeah, we're not going though. Well, we might go. If, you know, we can't hang out, hang out with Sumire to final center, then yeah, might as well go. Then today's the day. Mm, so there's actually probably a good place to stop then. We can tackle this next time. Um. Real quick, I'm gonna search to see if that's even that thing. That is... Uh, what's it called? Hmm, Persona 5 Royal. I'm near a... Third Awakening. Wait, do we have one? It's very option, I catch his automatic. Then he's Third Awakening. Uh, yes, there is one, but I don't know when it's available. How to make Akechi attain his third tier persona. Well, I wasn't looking for Akechi, but I guess I'll look at it right now real quick. Um... I'm not quite sure with Akechi. Uh, let me check real quick. So I don't think Akechi has his final persona. Oops. Akechi. Loki, yeah. Loki's not the one. Yeah, his final third persona is... Oh, I see that they call Joker Ren. Is that his actual canon name? Ren? Um... Um... Uh, looks like... Maybe... Maybe I can't... Do a... A catchy's third... Whatever. Third Awakening being the penultimate day of the game, it's impossible to use it prior to February 3rd, where combat is last available. But can we still get it though? <laughs> I think as long as we can get it, this playthrough will be fine. be January 21st to 24th? Isn't that the day is? Yes, yeah, like way past that day. Uh, what's about? Mm, 
Uh, maybe it's something I should not worry about. Yeah, I guess I won't. Okay. Well, I guess we can go to Mementos and stop there. Okay. Okay. Nice. She uh, put up her hair like she said she was going to. Wow, you got here fast. Well, while I was traveling here, I suddenly had this epiphany. So I had to hurry over and explain Ooh. it to you. We're gonna get a showtime. Showtime. Lay it on me, girl. Right. I've been wondering for a while if there's any way I can bring some personal flair to my fights in Mementos. Your own flair, eh? And you came up with something? Yes, but I do have a small favor to ask, Senpai. Yep, showtime. What we'll do is... I see. How interesting! That's interesting, because... I feel like this move would allow me to honor Kasumi properly. So, how about it, Senpai? Like, they never showed the stone again, like, reacting to these showtime. Let's dance. This should make for one killer routine. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's oh. the stone. All right. James and Sumeria's showtime has been unlocked. I've definitely never seen anything like what she's planning. I can't wait for this. I won't let you down. Heck yeah. How are you? Hi, we're about to enter Mementos, correct? Um, I know I'm, in, I'm still a newcomer, but I'll make sure not to slow the group down. I'm looking forward to working with you all. No way, man. I keep telling you, you don't have to be so formal. But if you want, I can teach you everything you gotta know about what we do as the Phantom Thieves. Hey! Sorry to interrupt, but I already explained everything to her. Huh? So she knows about palaces and all that? Yes! Oh yes, Morgana Senpai already taught me all about them. Uh, oh, yeah, okay then. Guess you missed your chance to become a senpai, Ryuji. What? Sh shut up. Wasn't even aiming for that anyways. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to ruin your chance to become a senpai. <sighs> well then, uh, let's get back on topic. We should begin by investigating mementos, but I'd still... Or I'd prefer to avoid dying in vain due to a lack of preparation. Therefore, it's more important that, uh, than ever that you all be in your best shape before proceeding. You're right. As usual, we'll let James decide or handle how we should proceed. Once we're all prepared, let's head to Mementos. Talk about these requests. It's like three requests, I think. Today seems like a perfect day for us to go to, into Mementos. But let me check our intel. We'll start with the first one. This intel is on a malicious producer in the showbiz world. Supposedly, he's been using the dreams of young women for his own personal profit. Or benefit. I bet countless women have succumbed to his plot. So there are other guys out there just like Kamashida. Oh, there's plenty <laughs> of guys like that. Oh, this is unforgivable. We need to change his heart at once. Very well. Very well. I will go along with this. There are still more. This intel is about a womanizer. He believes all women should be conquered. <laughs> Jeez. He enjoys turning girls against each other for his own amusement. Apparently there have been incidents uh, that resulted in injuries and even a girl who had to quit school. Come on. Damn, this guy's messed up. What a jerk. We actually have to change his heart. Yeah, but I agree, but he thinks all women are meant to be conquered, right? Might be kinda dangerous for you, no? <laughs> no way. But I guess you can't be so sure in mementos. Well, let's be careful out there. That's the spirit. I don't like anyone who treats other people like crap either. Let's hurry up and change his heart. There's, there's still one more, or there's still more. There's a request from a boy who's wishing for his own death. He and his younger sister have been living together since losing their parents, but lately, he can't help but feel hatred towards her. One day, though, it was an unfortunate accident. He apparently inflicted a serious wound on her. He's asking to be killed after he hurts his precious little sister any further. Aww. No. To his both parents while they were young. Things must have been tough for them. Yeah. Yes. But uh, he must be telling the truth about her being precious to him, right? Or he wouldn't make hmm, such a request. I'm getting tired. And he's asking us to kill him, not his sister. 
I think he feels uh, so cornered. Nice sister. He feels so cornered that he's going insane. I want to change his heart. Agreed. Agreed. Or I agree. He's not in a state of mind where he can make reasonable decisions. Yes. Yes, I'd like for us to help him. I'm in favor. I feel the same. Well, we can't leave him like this. <laughs> Are you certain that uh, what he that's what he truly wants? I don't think yep, so. I think so. Wait. <laughs> that voice line went against the actual dialogue. If he really wanted to die, he uh, wouldn't have or he wouldn't make a post like that on the fan site. Yeah. I think he made that post because he wants help. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. Very well, do as you please. We sure will. I'm down to change this guy's heart. Of course. Definitely. Me too. All right then. Uh, we're all in agreement. Let's save this guy and return his compassion for his sister. There are still more. Dang, that's so many <laughs> side quests. Our target this time is a mother who abandoned her child. The child described the situation in a fan side post. They were a child behind. It sounds to me like a case of child neglect. Since the posts are still going, I'm still guessing the mom uh, still isn't giving the kid any attention. And it sounds like they haven't even been given proper meals lately. Wait. Not even meals? That's awful. We've got to help them already. <laughs> Why do people neglect their children? Even if they're young, and kids are still aware that they're being treated badly. You're right. Keep your chin up, Futaba. Let's change the mother's heart so she can wake up already. Mm-hmm. Mm I already have Mona to send out the calling card. Let's get moving and change your heart. Nice. Oh, were there only four? Probably gonna so many of them. Anyways. Um Let's do it. Go and save. Uh I'll first uh, stay here and that would be where we ended off. Where I guess appreciate everyone for stopping by, hanging out. Yeah, for those uh, celebrating Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas to y'all. If I don't stream in the next day or two, then yeah, Merry Christmas. And yeah, we'll see what happens next. Till next time, uh, take care.